minute, minute. How's it going, everybody? Good Thursday. Um, if it's afternoon for you, good afternoon. For me, it's morning. <laughs> oh, yeah, up north, it's snowing. <laughs> In the U.S., that is. It's warm. Oh, man, this morning was pretty chilly here. It was like in the low 30s, like 35, something like that. But in the morning, it's cold, and it's going to be 60 and 70 in the afternoon. It's like the perfect weather. I mean, I just don't like it cold in the morning, and it's been very windy. But eh, it's still great. 43 in Michigan. Yeah, that's where we're at. But the windows open. Um, we had to turn the heat on. We had to turn the heat on. Um... It was off. I mean, it was super nice last week. And this week, a little bit of nice, cool, cool weather come in after a nice storm swept across Missouri. I don't know if you guys seen. It's a huge storm went across Missouri. Brought that cold, cold temperatures, unfortunately. Blame Florida? I, I mean, what can we not blame Florida for? But, yeah. But, I mean, that is where Florida man comes from. So, it didn't totally make sense. Anyways, Death Star, welcome back. So I did a few things in the Create Arcane Engineering mod pack this morning. I updated a few mods. <laughs> also, um, Craig, Hi. Death Star, by the way, thank you for that tier one for a beautiful, beautiful four months. And Craig, with the six months, appreciate you. Welcome back. Good to have you back. So I'm hoping that things are going to be like a lot smoother. I'm noticing already dramatically increased frame rate right here but that could just be temporary i don't know yet we're gonna find out so if just to kind of recap what happened last stream uh for those of you just getting in to the stream we built this which is a part of our giant and i mean giant section here that goes to our main hall of all things create early game in this pack and then that leads all the way this way, which is also pretty much connected, very close connected to this, uh, this container that keeps leading all the way down, all the way down. There's going to be a train that is connected to our storage hub. So this is our storage hub right here. Now the storage hub contains all of our like raw resources, base resources, um, and is also containing some other materials as well. And, and basically where all of our storage goes. Uh, and so I decided this is going to be the place where we do the automation for this section right here. Um, this is going to be underneath the chapter. Oh, this is chapter four, not even chapter three. Chapter four, processing pandemonium. And it starts here. Lots of things are going to have to happen here. Um, one definitely being quartz crystals. Uh, we're also going to need some processing to get at least all of these started. So we need to make all of these processors. I think that's one of the first things that needs to be done, right? Because we can't even start on any of this without making sure that we have these printed circuits being automated and done. Um, and I don't think these... Yeah, these also, on top of this, being needed to make the PCB blueprints, we also need to make sure they're getting split off when they're not being used to make the PC blueprint. We need to make sure they're being split off because when we get into applied logistics, we're gonna need all these things. So they not only need to be used to make the, the blueprints, they also need to be used later on with the finished PCBs to make logic processors. So there's a lot. Did I install some lag fixes? Well, I updated a few mods, so I wanna talk about that. Uh, I got the mod list here that I updated. So I updated Embedium. I updated Saturn. I updated, uh, I could not update redirect. I updated smooth boot artifacts, um, fusion integrated dynamics. I updated, uh, let's see. Um, common. There's a couple of core mods I had to update entangled. I update the curious API I updated canary, which is something I think I added to help with FPS and then updated modern fix. So hopefully, Updating integrated dynamics helps. I've seen a lot of the change logs for integrated dynamics was fixes in those regards, like for lag and large systems having issues with lag. So I'm hoping that our our storage system is going to be significantly better when we go there. We'll see. We'll see how this 
this honestly feels. Uh, it doesn't seem much different. <laughs> Things are loading in though, but maybe it's a lot smoother in here. I don't know. But yeah, this is uh, something that I've been working on. So we'll figure this. We're, we're slowly figuring the lag out. I mean, if it's 60 FPS right now, that's fantastic. Look, at it, it's going up to 70 as things start to load in. I mean, this could be f fixing a lot of these issues. I noticed this right here. Normally, I have to um, F3A to reload. It doesn't seem like I'm having, I'm needing to do that, by the way, which is great. Also, zoom. I don't know why, what zoom is on. There's a zoom on Rubidium Extras that's on C. That's fine. There's a zoom, though, from zoom on Z. I don't even know what that, that is. Zoom. Who had zoom? Anyways, we're using the Rubidium version. Things are looking good. We did get a tree farm set up that pretty much farms every tree last stream as well. Uh, and so we should have quite a few logs that are built up. We use those to build out that area. So pretty nice. Uh, do pets not work? Pets should work. Everything should work. Um, let's see. The only thing that shouldn't work. Also, there's a new, there's a new thing called pop-ups that should work. Uh, summon pets should work. Sometimes it spawns a bee and they're so small and you can't really see them. Where can I see a list of all the mods for this particular pack? Oh, let me check and make sure I have this actually set up. There's a lot I like do behind the scenes and I forget that. Let's see. Um, I forget which one I, I usually have set up. All right. There we go. Uh, now, excavation point pack should work. There we go. You can find a full list of the mods listed there. Uh, and if you click under the relations uh, relations tab, you will see every mod that is in the mod pack. And then it makes it easy. You can just click on the links on there and then just hit middle mouse click and it will open a new tab for you. So you can, you know, look at the mod and go, ooh, what is this? It's pretty handy. Pretty handy. Okay. Um, something with pets is broken. Uh, I'll have to, I'll have to try it out. Thank you for um, being awesome. Smile. Um, hey, guy games. Thank you, my dude. Thank you for the two months. Welcome back. I'm still, I still always suck at saying your name. Send a screen cap. I mean, I can try and summon pet. Let's see. Test. Craig, thank you. <laughs> thank you for the, the thousand bits. Appreciate you, my dude. Hey, everybody's all resubbing today. Welcome back. It's Exodia. Oh, man. That just brought back so many memories seeing your username. Thank you for the prime, my dude. My dude. Oh, that just brought back memories. Oh, you get all the cards laid down. Exodia. Oh, my God, dude. Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh was mine. I can't watch it, though, now. Dude, I can't watch Yu-Gi-Oh now. It's, it's, I don't, I don't remember it being that way as a kid, but when I tried watching it again, it's so dramatic. They're so dramatic, man. Yeah. It's like, as soon as Exodia is pulled and you have the ability to lay down all cards, because, right, you have to, uh, to be able to even lay down all of the Exodia cards, you have to scrap your other cards. You have to sacrifice your cards. It, it was so dramatic. When you watch it, it's so dramatic. I love that I got the B. I love that. No worries, buddy. It's all good. Ah, I try. I try to say your name. All right, so let's go back into this. So apparently this is now a bit smoother. I mean, it feels, it doesn't feel as bad. I mean, it's still, it's not perfect, right? It's, it's still definitely lags. We're, we like jump from our current FPS here down into the 30s. Look at that. Whew. That's a dip. It's a dip, Aruno. Okay. Um, is there anything else I need? Brass. That's our jet pack. I can put my night vision goggles in here. I do want to get everything sort of cleaned up real quick before we jump in. Otherwise, it's going to be a frustrating day if I do not. 
Okay, there's all our tunnel stuff, our coin of fortune. This goes in our necklace slot. Why is it not in there? Oh, that's right, because we... But can it go in the curios slot? Yeah, I can. Should function, too. Oh, it doesn't function in there. Oh. Oh, interesting. That's interesting. All right. Anyways, uh, so I think the thing that we need to work on today, right, is maybe get the Certus Quartz started. We've got to get Certus Quartz automation started. That's going to be a fun little challenge. Let's see, is my create contraption in my inventory or have I lost it? It's right here. All right. We need to pick this up. I would really love to have access to like my storage, like wirelessly, <laughs> like and actually wirelessly, like through the overworld. Oof. Um, which I, I don't think we're going to be able to get um, at all uh, through the whole playthrough. All right. Lever. Do I have levers in here? Yeah. Can you do the R's thing? No. So that, the lectern, um, I believe this is a version before all of that existed. Um, so there is no scry. Oh, there is a scry crystal. Um, but there's no recipe for the other stuff. Um, yeah, I don't think there's not like the thing that shoots through the scry. It would be nice if that was the case, but it's not. No. Um, and I don't think we can use scries, uh, without. So a scry crystal can be used to look through as if you were search, uh, standing there. Right click to enter the camera or bind the camera, but you can just observe. Okay, this is the scry scroll will let you remotely access the block via a scryer's oculus. Remote, but I don't think you can access things. Does AE2 have wireless? It does. Um, but it doesn't have like, it doesn't have the ability for you to, um, make the, the, the thing that allows you to, what's it called? The, um, I forget what it's called. They have the recipe disabled for the like multi-block that allows you to move your network somewhere else a long distance. And picking up my entire storage is not an option. <laughs> it breaks it breaks integrated dynamics to to move your stuff around. Um, I don't know what consequences there are for doing that with applied energistics. Uh, now, so yeah, the the scry. I don't think. I mean, it says that a scry scroll will let you remotely access the block via a scryer's Oculus, but it lets you remotely access this. But it's not in the way that I think it's mentioning. Right? So if I make a scry crystal and I make an oculus, right? Just needs a spyglass. How do I have no amethyst? I totally have amethyst. Is this only done in crushing wheels? I have crushing wheels. What am I doing? Oh, uh, we're going to tap in. Let's tap in like right here.
Wow, the update that added all the cool stuff was literally added to 119 10 days after the last 118.2 update. Yeah. I mean, see, that that stuff happens, right? Um, Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. All of the stuff that you see, like, almost in modern R's right now was added in 119. So, like, the storage, everything like that was all, like, implemented in that version in 119 and then it has been perfected in the 120 moving forward there's a lot of changes too that are in the 120 they're like um exclusive drops now too from like some of those mobs which is pretty interesting uh now uh let's see scry oculus is a diamond a source gem block this is far from the only crafting we're gonna be doing today we've got to do a lot of crafting today by the way, we have unlimited diamonds. I don't, I'm not, I should really hook this into that. So we have access to all of these things. Cause we, we pretty much have unlimited resources at this point, at least base resources. Uh, some things like Sirtis Quartz, we've got to, we've got to make unlimited. Also, I mean, the storage is a lot smoother. I will say that it, updating integrated seems like that definitely helped. I mean, it could be a placebo thing. I just, I feel like, I feel like that definitely helped. There's a couple of mods that I have no problem updating that I know is not really going to affect anything but helping performance. That's the big, big thing with updating mods. Speaking of updating mods, I do have to update my mod pack. Not today, but I am going to have to take the time to do that. The quantum ring, that's what the, the thing I was talking about earlier. I, some things like that slipped my mind. Uh, let's see. All right, so that should be everything. Right, a spyglass, perfect. And then a scry goes in the middle, right? No, it's just an ender eye. Ender eye in the middle, observer. Spyglass, diamond. Where did I put the observer? I know I made that. Chosen adventure update stream. I mean, updating the mod pack, I can show that process. It's, it is very time consuming. Um, in some of the tediousness that goes on in updating the pack because of the way I do it. It, it. it is pretty tedious. There are a few things that definitely need to be changed and updated in that, that pack that haven't been updated, unfortunately. I'm pretty sure this just lets me look at stuff. That's all it does. I mean, which is not horrible. It would allow us to see if things are broken, I guess. Um, but I, I don't think it's going to let me access anything. That's like, for example, this barrel. Let's put like these amethyst shards in here. And then we, we place down. Uh, I don't know. This isn't sorting the right way. Sort by mount. Let's just put the scry here, right? So the scry is looking at the barrel, right? And if we op go into the scry, we can look into the barrel, but I can't like right click or interact. I can just WASD to move. I'm like, hey, hey, chosen, it's chosen architect right here. It's just me, I, I don't. And the only thing that, the only thing that this scryer's Oculus lets you do, right, is, um, we have to have a pedestal, right? Pedestal. And I've done this before. We have to have a pedestal. And then we need to use parchment. So we, we make a parchment like this. And we can shift right click on this. And that makes it a scryer scroll. 
and we can place this here, place the parchment on it. Then when we open this, we can then select, so you can have multiple, we can select, and now we can see this location. But I don't know how this is like useful. I don't really know how it's useful. Now, if it let us use our like scroll, and if we, for example, were able to like use a spell, for example, like a projectile and and actually use it, we that that would be great, but we can't. Integrated dynamics, it looks like you can use the monodirectional connector for wireless connections up to 512 blocks in a straight line. So that's something. Can it do 512 blocks? I thought it was only like 64. Or is that something to do with chunk loading? I know that, um, and maybe this is, that was uh, maybe a misunderstanding too on Zine's part, but maybe Zine, because... I assumed, which could be my, like I said, my part, because Zine was saying it was like only 60 something blocks or something like that, that um, it was just not really that viable unless we were building things like incredibly close. Because this is thousands of blocks away, like 3,000 blocks or more away from our main headquarters. And I don't think we can send it through the nether. <laughs> But yeah, this is this is kind of neat though. Like I, I you can look around and in in um and I do know that the scry scroll in 119 adds the ability for you to do what I'm saying would be cool if you could do, which is send a spell through the scry crystal. And then you're able to put the scry scroll in your offhand, use the um the tool that lets you send the spell, and that's cool. Did I try the Scryer's Oculus? Yeah, so you, the Scryer's Oculus just gives you the ability to view it. I can't interact in any way. So like I'm punching, punching, nothing. Um, if I have a spell, like the break spell, um, I can't even open the, I can't open it. Yeah, the book lied. I don't think it's lying. I think it's, um, it says you can, okay. It can be used to look through as if you were standing there. Right click to enter the camera or bind the camera to the scryer scroll, to a scryer scroll by using blank parchment in the block. A scryer scroll will let you remotely access the block via the scryer's Oculus. Yeah, so I don't, that's not, that's not what that does. You can access the crystal block. What do you mean? Yeah, you have to right click the scroll onto this location to a to a scry, put it on here, and then this allows you to select it. Yeah, all you can do is see through. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was I was showing, which was kind of interesting that ours has this in this version, but it's not fully implemented like the uh, I mean, this may have been the full idea of the implementation back then, but the, the like it's it's very limited in its uses in this version. And you can have multiple so that you can go to different ones. But anyways. That's beside the point. Uh yeah, anyway, if we could ever figure out away would be pretty nice. You can cast a turret use spell as if used by a player. Uh no. The I don't think the use spell would do what you're thinking. It 
it so if the if the turret used it it would be in relation to the turret and its inventories and stuff like that so all right anyways um thank you for the follow by the way all right we've got we've got a lot to do we've got a lot to do uh and i want to get back over to the um the area the tunnel so this is where that automation is going to take place said there's a lot that's going to happen today now uh on this particular side uh this side right here is where i need to get the automation set up for this system now this redstone system which i haven't checked in a while so i probably should check it It seems to be still running, running strong, producing that good old redstone. That's good. That's fantastic. And it seems to be backed up on redstone, which is honestly kind of weird. I It shouldn't, shouldn't be backed up. We're about to head, by the way, into the laggy station. We're going to see how, how good this is now with the update. Oh, God, no, it's still pretty darn nasty. Oof, if not worse. Yeah, it's really bad with Twitch chat open. Um, okay, so why is the redstone backed up? That's what I need to figure out. I'm assuming it's because we did hit finally our cap and we've maxed out on these. That doesn't seem correct. Hmm. And we're only at 11,000. So I have a feeling like something broke with our redstone being sent somewhere. Our train. Oh my god, is our redstone train? Gone? No, there's, there's the boy. There's the good boy. Train signals. Are we just stuck here for some reason? We're stuck in limbo? Okay, so there's no train currently. Oh, there is a train right here. Okay. Are you stuck in limbo? Twenty-five FPS? Oh, you have no idea. It's pretty bad here. It's pretty bad. This is probably the least of the concerns. Okay, you are here. Maybe they just can't, they can't go yet. Don't these have different modes? Allow passage if section is unoccupied. And that's what we want, right? I thought all of these were set to allow passage if section is unoccupied. Allow passage if section is unoccupied. Maybe I have a few signals that are not operating correctly. What is it set to? Allow passage if section is unoccupied. Allow passage if section is fully traversable. Uh, I think only these. If section is fully traversed, why are you not going?
Okay. One is probably backing everything up. I've not had I, I I've not had these problems. These I don't think need to be set up the way they are. I'm not a train engineer, so I have no idea what I'm doing with these train signals. I do know that this is like broken here. You need to, you need to go. You want to set fully traversable and entrances to highly used intersections usually. What are you doing? How's my day so far? It's going pretty good. Gotta hit me with them pop-ups. I tried to get it to utilize the messages, by the way. For some reason, it wasn't utilizing messages. Okay, so there is a train missing. There is a train missing, right? Because this, I've not seen this train yet. And I do get a message when I start up that says train. There should be a train. Huh. Unless it's entirely gone. That would really suck. My hope is that it's at the train station. But now I'm a little concerned. There's still a lot of redstone in there. I'm a little concerned. Okay, um, I guess we can head back... Let's head to lava real quick. And then check on this real quick. This is definitely broken. As per normal. And I don't even know why. You're not even playing Minecraft right now? The creepers are scaring you? I'm so used to them. There's nothing even in the basin. What is going on? Alright. It is what it is. Let's go ahead and fill this up. That'll jumpstart that. What are we looking at on here? 3K? Okay. All right. Um, let's head to the end. And this is where I want to check. Is Did my train just disappear? Thank God it's here. But my conductor is gone. Ooh, that kind of sucks, though, because we're, we're in this dimension. Okay. 
See, I I blame it on the portal. Uh, can, we can we can swap this out though, right? Yeah, we can put. I think the best thing to put here. Can I get my schedule? Is my schedule gone because of the drivers gone? It just gets rid of the. Maybe we have to put a mob back on it before we get our schedule back. Okay, so we're here. Please don't delete it. Please don't delete it. Please don't delete it. Please don't delete it. Please. Oh, thank God. We're going to get a blaze burner on here. Okay, I got my schedule back. Good. Yeah, that one, that one needs a blaze burner. The weird train stuff, right? So we put them on there, okay, and then we assemble the train, and then I give you the schedule. There you go, bud. He looks so much, oh, he's so cute. <clears throat> you have an actual conductor's hat to make a conductor guy? I do not. All right, this guy is going to hopefully take back off. There he goes. Okay, so that train's fixed. Because I was getting a conductor error every time I loaded in that said the conductor was gone. Okay, good. Crisis averted? Yeah, it's com good. We're good now. We're good. All right. Uh, that's still hope. I, I hope that kind of solves our conductor issue. It's I'm gonna. I'm gonna try my my. I have the high ground. <laughs> you have the high ground. Oh no 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 no! I have the high ground. <laughs> or. <laughs> Vald, sorry, thank you <laughs> for the hundred bits. It's... Oh, random question: Do you guys think modded Minecraft is dying? No. What do you What do you mean by dying? It's funny too. I think modded Minecraft would would be the last thing to die. You just started modded Minecraft? It's not dying. Oh, good God. I mean, maybe there's, there might be a lack of amazing mod pack developers like there, I mean, were a few years ago. I mean, I could, I can't even say that because this pack is fantastic. It would be the last man standing. Yeah, I mean, if Minecraft stopped updating the only thing that would cause the, the 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 effect of Minecraft not updating anymore would cause modded Minecraft to excel. He was watching another modded streamer the other night and he was talking about how it was dying. And I didn't agree. I mean, maybe their channel's dying, but it's not dying. I mean, I don't think it's dying. I continue to learn new stuff. I enjoy it. I mean, I don't, I don't know. 
Maybe it's the packs they play. I mean, it could, it could be a million different things. He could have just been having a bad day. He or she or whatever they are. Because I don't know who you're talking about, but yeah. All right, I've got to figure out how I'm going to send this the, these fluids uh, quite a long distance. Because um, I need to send... So we need to start the Stardust Quartz automation, right? So Stardust Quartz does not have a way of like mining it up, right? We can't, we can mine it underground, but we can't like, it's not sustainable. So what we need to do is we need to make Stardust Quartz clusters. And to do that, we need sand and volatile sky solution. Okay. Volatile sky solution, by the way, is made... Uh, actually, we could just, we could probably just transfer the Skystone dust over into our base. I think that is probably a good idea. So let's head to Redstone. And we need to get it over here. Redstone hell. All right. So yeah, this stuff right here, right? This is in this drawer. And so we should be able to easily just take from this drawer and send it wherever we want to send it, right? We can send this wherever. I think that would be a good idea. We don't have flight here, by the way. Um, so is belting it a good idea? I mean, we have to belt it all the way over here and into here, and that just seems like a really bad idea. This might be a good time to use the integrated dynamic system for getting items from one location to another. With the directional connectors, this will be a good time to kind of figure those out, right? Bored in a mod pack, maybe you just don't enjoy it. Yeah, true. More trains. We, we could do a train. The only downside, see, the thing I don't like about trains is they are, the hard part is like setting the, this part, the like interaction part with them. That's the only hard part that just feels like it takes longer than it should. Because you have to make sure everything lines up and everything, make sure your train station's in the appropriate location and things like that. Um, we could use mine carts. We could use a mine cart contraption. But I, I think I want to try the integrated dynamics. Yeah, I think that's what I want to do. Um, how am I going to do that? I've got to get... And we don't have to keep that chunk loaded, right? We just need... I mean, we do, don't we? All Man, we need so many chunks loaded in this pack. It's kind of ridiculous. Without a way to wirelessly send things. I mean, if we did a train, I would have to belt the items out here. I could have the train routed into here and maybe loop back down, but I feel like that would be very, very tight. Or we could have it, I just don't want to block this station up. I mean, we could have it potentially loop into this and and, and loop back through. That way, this is just a volatile sky solution loop. Hmm. I'm not going to use belts. See, what I wanted to try... What I want to try is the integrated dynamics. How expensive are those? These monodirectional connectors. And how far do they work? See, these aren't too expensive. I've already used them once. By the way, do you guys play RL Craft? I mean, I have played RL Craft in the past. Long time ago. 
I'm thinking about using those mono directional. I think for for this, it will keep the train congestion to a minimum because right now I want only one train in that network. And it's going to have a multitude of things it's doing. And I don't want volatile sky solution to be one of those things. I mean, we could set everything up here. Um, since we do have excess sand as well. I mean, but volatile is going to be like this setup right here. Let me take a look at this real quick. Let me let me let me dive a little into the way that this is going to work. Okay. So to get this, we need our Certus Seed. And this is the same setup. Okay. So no matter which way we do this, whether it's via the Certus inside of a mill or it's inside the crushing, it's going to give us three. Then when we volatile this, it turns it into a Certus Quartz Cluster at 30% chance. And then we have a 70% chance of salvage. The 70% chance of salvage is, is going to be Certus. Is going to be a seed uh, that we want to loop back in. I hate the math on this, dude. Someone help me. I'm trying to get the time source crystal in the nether, but the source is not placeable. Source? I, I have no idea. Is it the right source you're using? You asked because Arlcraft just hit 20 million downloads. I mean, shoot, how long has it been out? It's been out for a while now, right? I did play Arlcraft. It's probably one of the more popular series I had. Yeah, you could try to use the create pump and a tank. It'd work. With that information, who still thinks mod packs are dying? They're not. Um, all right. Time to do math. Quick maths. Or is there a simpler solution to this? So volatile sky solution. That's easy. We, we can do that. That's not a problem. It's this. I just wonder if there's a better solution to this problem than how I'm solving it here. Hey! Bisco, how you doing, bud? I mean, this is a pretty solid solution. It is also a lot nicer over here after updating the stuff. You should make the pop-up look like a WinRAR license screen or like the Sublime. Well, the Sublime one's actually not too bad. The WinRAR one is pretty aggressive, but freeware is freeware, right? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. You sent, uh, sent you a screenshot of what I just added, like to capture. Oh, that's right. I did. I forgot you had that mod. There's like an actual capture. Yikes! That was not supposed to go.
Alright, well, I guess... I guess first things first, right? I'm, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. Getting ahead of myself. We need steam in here. So we need an infinite lava pool. Not this... This is not infinite, but we do need an infinite lava pool here. Uh, so we can get a steam engine up and running. Um, where would be a good place for that? Possibly over here? Yeah. Over here would be fine. We can set it up right here. I think that'll be fine, right? Yeah. Alright. So if a steam engine is going to be here, underneath this, I need the lava. Probably right over here somewhere. I also want access to the lava. So we have a pump... Uh, let's see. I don't want to do a tank. I'll just have... Yeah, the source of lava right here. Just need to clean this up. Like that. F3G... We just need to see. Okay, good. So this is nice and neat right in a single chunk. Perfect. So we just got to get busy. That's all we got to do. We got to start. We got to start putting together this uh, insane chunk. All right. I guess we'll continue to go a little further down. Um. Okay. And how far down? It's it's 40, right? So 60 by 60 by 40. So at this Y level, we need to go down 40 blocks. And wherever I decide to start this, I do want an access area. There's my access port. So I can access my pump. All right. Let's get to the wall. There we are. This is why you loved Volcano Block. Unlimited lava, just everywhere, right? Well, I mean, it's not that difficult to do it in this pack. I'll, I'm going to show you. The only the only problem is we have to dig the hole out. And I, I could make a contraption, but I don't know how I would make a contraption like specifically for hitting exactly 40 blocks down without it having like a huge shaft that sticks out of it. But with ours, we can do a pretty good job of clearing this out quickly. I mean, I could... I don't know if we can do that. It may be too many blocks. Um, we I could potentially just copy the, uh, the thing with the schematic cannon like I've done. And I made a giant area with the schematic cannon. But it also has some other mechanics on top that could work. The schematic cannon does clear an area out. It takes a while if you don't have a way to accelerate it. 
But for something like this, it's usually easier for me just to do it by hand. Alright, so this is our 16 by 16, right? Okay. So setting this to the nine by nine, this is a three, three, pretty sure this is nine blocks. So if I go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay. I got to go one higher. Is it, is it max then? Max. Okay. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh boy. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Uh, Kojiro is like right on the money saying Z it's or Y level, uh, Y level 05. Right on the money. Where did I get copper blocks? Perfect. So now we just rinse and repeat this whole process. One, two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four, one. All right. Let me check this real quick. Probably should put... Probably cobble in here. Let me make this a little bit easier. rid of Jasper. Anything else in here that's kind of junk that we don't need? I think that's fine. That's probably enough. All right. Oh, soapstone probably too. Soapstone. I think you need a deposit upgrade to be able to shift click onto a container. Yeah. 
mana potions would be great right now. Oh, am I doing a projectile? It'd be better if I did a touch. I think it's significantly cheaper to do it with a touch. Oh yeah, we could void jar. I just never made the void jar, did I? That would be actually pretty pretty nice, wouldn't it? Um, Dirk Tempest, thank you for the prime, my dude. Welcome to the crew. Thank you. Welcome in. Yeah, let's actually, let's go, um, head back to the base real quick. And we can make a void jar. This should help replenish a little bit of our stuff. I've never used it, like, specifically, so I've never... Let's see, lava bucket, bucket. I guess it's dark, not Dirk. Did I say dark? I thought I said Dirk. Oh, it's... I read it as dark, as if it's an A. It's... Diverk. <laughs> Diverk Tempest. <laughs> oh, good God. It's not even a U. It's not even a U. It's a V. You said Dirk. I Because I quickly read it as a V. I think. Because it kind of looks like a U here. <laughs> Definitely dark. Okay. Dark with a V. It's it, reading Twitch usernames is the hardest thing. I swear to God, man. It is hard. Especially when somebody has like an expectation of you reading it correctly. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. And then put dyslexia on top of that. Oh hell no. I'm the worst. Okay, uh, Void Jar. Because we can always use this later on. Can we just void everything? Probably a bad idea. You shouldn't expect anything. <laughs> Not anything good, that's for darn sure. Alright, there's a void jar. It ate one of our buckets. Alright, and then... Void jar avoiding. Okay. Uh, destroy items on pickup and grants a small amount of mana in return. Uh, to turn the jar on or off, use it. Okay, sneaking to add. To add or remove items to be destroyed by the jar, use the jar with an item in the offhand. Or use an item on the scribes table. So if I want to void cobble, for example, while this is active, it's a dangerous item. It looks like it's just an allow list, which it kind of tells you right off the bat, right? Offhand, item added, item removed. Oh, that's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. Yeah, that's good. That's good. And it tells you the list. Perfect.
Not bad, not bad. That's pretty easy. Should speed up digging a lot. We'll see. We'll see. It just needs to stay in my inventory, right? <clears throat> Alright, I need to turn this off. Advanced pickup off. Void off. That's just a warp scroll. Tunnel. I cannot wait. In FTB, um, which we'll be playing tomorrow. I cannot wait till I get access to scrolls. <laughs> I'll eventually get access to scrolls and being able to warp to locations. Not what I wanted to do. All right, so this one, let's see, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, right here. Okay, so let's activate this. Our magnet's just not fast enough. All right, Deep Slate's gotta go into the list. Gravel's gotta go in the list. That's gotta go in the list. Slate's gotta go in the list. All right. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one. Good. This is working good. Perfect. Yeah, that's making the mining a lot faster. Evabri, welcome! Uh, Chosen, how do you uh, do the rune of teleport? Okay, so you have the, the rune. Let me go to the spell. So you just do a touch to place it on the ground. You place the rune, and then you do sensitive. The rune uses the inventory of the user that steps on it. That's what sensitive does. And then blink um, will then use the inventory of the player and it'll look look in the inventory for the scroll and it will use the scroll if there's a scroll in there to use and it will teleport you to the location of the scroll without using the scroll. Hopefully that helps. Because it is very powerful in this particular pack. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You wonder what gets checked first is inventory or the the tile. Wait, what? I know as far as in your inventory, your hotbar slot, I believe it goes from left to right. Then it's going to check your inventory if there's nothing in your hotbar. And I think it goes from the top to bottom and then it will check I think inventory slots are definitely checked first but then your hotbar is always first I believe with the chest uh, near the rune would that work too? yes if there's a chest near the rune 
Yeah, the rune will work. And I, I think there's a way to make the rune unbreakable, right? So you could like create a teleportation network with it. That'd be pretty, yeah. So, if you did a rune, you could place the rune down, and I think it's amplify or something. It tells you on the rune spell, right? Uh, creates a temporary block. That's conjure mage block. Where's the rune? Right here. When using item pick, okay. Place a rune on the ground. It will cast a spell on targets. Touch the rune. Unlike runes placed by runic chalk, these runes are temporary. So if you use runic chalk. And you, you inscribe the spell under the runic chalk. Then that would work. So on the runic chalk, you would probably want to put sensitive and blink on your runic chalk. And then that should apply that to the user that steps on it. On the scribes table. Um... Actually, I think you may not need the sensitive, right? Because let's see, when using item pickup, when using item pickups, item sensitive will cause the rune to use the owner's inventory for pickups and usage instead. The owner's inventory. So I think they'll just use the inventories connected uh, to them innately. I could be wrong there. Let's make the void jar nulled. Okay, so now I got to go through and clean all this mess up. Then we gotta fill it with lava. It's not gonna take that long though. Tunnel? Oh, that's our name spell. Uh, I need a projectile. Conjure terrain. AOE. There's that filled. And that should be it. <laughs> there we go. We got our hole filled. Perfect. All right. He'll never read that. <laughs> Wait, what? Um, couldn't you add pickup to the mining spell 
so you wouldn't have to rely on the magnet. I could. It costs more to do that, and I also lose out on one size, right? Because then I can't do a 9x9 unless I put it on a wand. Then I could do a pickup on the wand and have a 9x9 break. That's not easily configurable, though, unfortunately. Okay. Um, let's see. I've I've used and uh, shown off the void jar before, but it's been so long. It was back early, early in ours. I don't remember it giving you source though. Whenever it voided the items, that I don't remember it doing. Um. It's been a while. That's the thing with a lot of mods I play with. It's it's kind of crazy. I I I will heavily focus on a particular mod from time to time. And it's, it'll be like super heavy, super, super heavy focused. And then I'll forget. <laughs> I'll forget I even used it. Uh, Just, well, I guess this is what happens when you just fill your brain with, I mean, my brain is working like the, the, the RAM in your computer right now. Some of that, some of that memory just got to, it's got to get dumped every now and then. How many lava source blocks does it need to recognize it as a bottomless supply? 10,000. 10,000. It's a little quicker in this pack than you might think to get that. Sounds absurd, but it's a lot. We can get it quickly. One, two, three, four, five. That should be right where we need it. Eh, it might have went one too low. Yep, there we go. Then to fill this with lava, uh, which means we need to go get some lava, right? Redstone hell, lava. Let's go to lava. 10k, not 1k, no, 10k. 10k, 10, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. I'm like that with books, I obsess. But don't ask me the plot after like a month or two. I wonder if my wife's the same way with books. She seems like she, she remembers, but I, I don't... I can't read like her, man. I, I I envy how she reads. That I do. I wish I could, man. I cannot read as I cannot read fast enough to justify me sitting down and trying to read a book. Um, that's it's, it's unfortunate. And I, I blame. I mean, I can read pretty fast on the Kindle. A regular book, no. The only reason I can read fast on the Kindle is because of the open dyslexic font. Um, which helps a lot, helps, helps a ton. I can read so much faster with it. Audiobooks are great. Yeah, I, I used to listen to audiobooks when I worked in, uh, in the factory. I would listen to audiobooks. I listened to all of Game of Thrones. And it was so much better listening to it than watching the show. Dude, it, this, dude, it was, in, it's insane how good the, uh, the books are. So by the way, we'll insta fill these. See, this just feels broken. <laughs> who did this? Who made? Who who broke this? Why is this? Why is this so broken? Alexa can read Kindle books to you. What? The time of the bottle is insane. It is. These are max size, by the way. One thousand five hundred buckets. 
They're as big as you can get them in this pack. This place don't look as cool with the night vision on. Wait, where did I put the... It's over here. Okay. I gotta remember which way we do this. Uh, this outputs and then we build it sideways. So to deposit, these gotta go out this way. So I do this, and then I just continue placing these on uh, this side, actually. And that should be filling with lava. Yep, yep, yep. And it's full. Do I have one on me? A starbuckle? I do not. I think I have my starbuckles in here, though. I used to keep gold blocks on me. I don't anymore. Dang. Is the hose pulley pushing um, or the fluid cell pulling? But the fluid cell is pushing and pulling. The hose pulley doesn't do anything on its own. You have to have some sort of factor that's pulling or pushing. Uh, may I ask how you learn create? Well, you learn a lot of create through the built-in, like, create feature called Ponder. Right? Like, almost everything, if you look here, it says a whole W to Ponder. But a lot of items also have full descriptions. So, for example, um, this. It says hold shift to see a summary. Talks about what the item is. But... Uh, but a lot of items have, for example, a ponder. And this gives you a visualization of how these mechanics work. But how do you learn? Just like anything, you have to sit down and play with them. Play with the it's like a, it's like a toy. You don't know how the toy works until you start playing with it. So you've gotta you've gotta kinda mess around and just play with things. You know? I've got a ton of videos on create related topics. Um, none of them in a like just here's a tutorial sort of situation, but a lot of my videos are in relation to utilizing create in some way. Some way that like um, is useful, right? That, 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 that uses stuff. Uh, your college is making a create contest who can build the biggest automatic farm biggest automatic farm that makes everything like farming mining the best base design and best looking a farm that makes everything I, sounds laggy <laughs> um yeah i mean create can do a ton of ton of things It's for $5,000 hosted by the college. That sounds crazy. I mean, yeah, there's a ton of cool things you can do. Trains are amazing with Create. But if you're just now learning 
how to get into create for a contest you've got a lot of research to do my friend you've got a lot of videos to watch i recommend checking out polart on youtube polart's got a ton of videos on how create works i recommend if you're just learning how the functions of create works maybe stray away from the 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 create content creators that are focused more on building and, and the reason i mentioned like pole art is because he talks about like all of the fundamentals i recommend watching him uh, i think the jojo's got some some simple tutorials as well uh, like i said i have a lot of tutorials related to create if you just search chosen architect create you'll find a ton of videos that are in relation to create um this whole series, uh, if you start watching and skimming through some of it on my second channel, Chosen Live, you will learn a lot of concepts that are very useful for building automations with Create. And this is more in a functional sense, but there's a lot. Been playing a lot of all the mods eight now with a lot of mechanism. Yeah, but that but that's mechanism has nothing to do with Create, so yeah. Create is its own beast. The schematic cannon will be your friend. Learn how to use the schematic cannon and it'll make building things easier. Because once you build one thing, you don't have to worry about it anymore. Um, over on my, uh, on my Discord, I have, if you check the pins in my general chat, I have some schematics there. Uh, one of them is like a super smelter, right, right? insanely fast super smelter it smelts nine stacks at a time we'll do all of the, the the processing that create does with fans at nine stacks at a time uh and we'll allow for filtering and everything so it's kind of amazing you know how to use a schematic cannon yeah okay yeah good you should have a good start good luck on your five thousand dollar prize winnings good luck that's all i got to say all right, we're going to get a pipe. I'm out of blaze burners. I'll get to head back. That'd be really fun, man. When I was in school, how, how insane, that'd be so fun to have like being in a, uh, for example, an engineering class or, um, shoot, uh, applied science or stuff like that. Uh, physics, anything like that. Being in a science class where the science class was like, I'm going to host a Minecraft server for you guys. And it's going to involve create. And here's the mod pack. And you can download it on your home computer. And it's if it's just like this one mod pack, you know. And, and then they host it. And you can join. Here's the instructions. You give them a, a GitHub instruction list. Or you can even teach them how to use GitHub as you build the GitHub instruction list. Like, th that would be insane. That'd be so much fun. Why am I not a teacher? I want to be a... I should be a freaking... No, teachers don't, don't, don't make enough money, unfortunately. Oh, I don't think no tech person is going to want to be a teacher when you can make more in the field. Sounds pretty cool, though. The monster biomes of plenty. Create arcane engineering. Create arcane engineering. Start a master class. Yeah. I don't know. It'd be so fun to have like a server like when I was a kid. Uh, I didn't have a computer though. Now that I think about it, not many kids would probably have computers, so it would kind of be unfair. Unfair for those who don't. And there's nothing those kids can do to like get a computer, right? You know, there's a ton of kids that their parents won't be able to afford that. Everybody, uh, most people live check to check. All right, we got a... Dump this stuff. That'd be the hardest part about being a teacher. Is when you have kids like that, that, oof. That'd be hard. It'd be a tough pill to swallow. 
when you start a project and the a kid's just like, well, I don't, I don't have the access to this. Ugh. Broken heart, man. Some schools have programs to help kids get computers. Yeah. Your college gives free laptops. It's insane. See that? See, maybe this is me being old. I don't know. <laughs> don't make me feel old. <laughs> I'm not that old. All right, Chad. I'm not that freaking old. But no, I, we didn't have laptops when I was in school. <laughs> We were on Windows XP all the way up until I graduated. I think the school had just switched to Windows 7 when I graduated. All right. Oh, another thing, by the way, when you're building, if you want a fantastic tool that's built into the create mod, you're going to want to use the wand of symmetry. You'll love it. Foolproof nerd. Th th this right here. Wand of symmetry. Great. It allows you to build things like this in one eighth of the time. You were learning how to type with rubber covers on the keyboards. I didn't even learn how to type when I was in school. I think where I learned how to type the most was whenever I finally got a laptop. I think I was, uh, I was working. I saved up enough money. I bought my laptop off of QVC that my parents were QVC parents, right? The freaking home shopping networks, dude. And so I got a freaking crappy like office laptop it was way too expensive for it being called a gaming laptop uh 1440 by 900 i think was the resolution it was a, almost like a square for 1440 by 900 i think was my resolution it wasn't even a it wasn't even like a uh 16 by 9 that's like the standard today <laughs> yeah Really hard to try and record YouTube videos when your aspect ratio doesn't fit most screens. You still can't tie without looking down? Oh, I, I definitely can. I can, I've gotten really good at that, but I, it's because of Minecraft. You have a gaming laptop only because you were a vet and you were always mobile? Yeah, that makes sense. One, two, three, four, five. Costs like forty five to do that. And then we can send like this lava somewhere else if it we need lava. We probably will. Uh, because we're gonna need lava to power our magmatic dynamos. And so setting up some way to get that power will be nice. I almost forgot we need steam engines. What's the tunnel for? Uh, we are doing this automation. Yeah. 
Yeah. To make PCBs. This is going to be baby steps, right? We got to take baby steps and we'll get it done. If, if I start small, like right now, I'm like, okay, I'm going to need stress. Let's get that done, right? That's like the first thing that needs to be done. Stress. I'm... See, my camera's a little off, isn't it? Hey! Juninator, what are you doing? Popping up on me like that. Saying boo. It'd be funny if I could have, like, the pop-up have an image or something in it. But yes, uh, so yeah, we're going to need these things. We're going to need power because we have to get, we have to use like a phytogenic. We have to use a crystallizer. So having that lava there is going to be great. We've got to manage all of that. We also need our create power. So I'm building out the network here for that. I'd see that, get overwhelmed and avoid it until you can't real... I mean, we... I have been avoiding it, but I've been avoiding it while also working towards it. This is all working towards it. <laughs> Nasty TV. Thank you for that. Using those channel points. So yeah, I've been working towards it. All of this is to, to do this. Yeah, don't forget the, the straws. I won't. Um... And this should still be all working as intended. I hope. I haven't checked on them. I haven't checked on anything really. But that should be it should be all working. I've seen the train come through here. That train uh, is gonna be used for a lot of stuff. What's the goal in this pack? Just to have fun, just like any other mod pack. I mean it does have a like a centralized theme of going through these tech chapters and, and magic chapters and automating things. We've done all of this. We've not done the netherite or netherrack automation. I don't even know what that's used for. Probably has a use down the road. Making blaze cakes or something. I don't know. Uh, it's going to be needed for this. For turning this into source candy rocks. Loaded amethyst. Blue flowery moss. That's such a weird thing. These are all done with the Batania botanist workbench. Maybe that's not intended to be automated. I don't know. Did I try the April Fools update? Yes. Check the uh, the vods. Check the last stream. We played it for like six hours. We did everything. It was a lot of fun. So I need these all rotating in one direction. I can send the power from the top and then send it down. I love that you named the red <laughs> one of the scrolls redstone hell. You chuckle every time I see it because it was red. It is redstone hell. It's literally redstone hell. Doesn't get any any more realistic than that. It is freaking redstone hell.
Okay. We'll carry this down. Uh, we just got to send this. Uh oh. You popping up on me. Should I make that cheaper? Is that too expensive, Chad? Or is that right about right on the channel points numbers? should be fine if we have to increase the pump speed we can always do that later so the unicode colors don't work uh you're talking about in here no it, it actually runs a check uh, for JSON's safe uh, messages, so it doesn't break the message and not display it. Okay, um, we also need water, which we need to get set up. Um, I gotta go grab one of those. Here we are, going back to storage. See, this is, this is the back and forth that is probably the most frustrating. Oh, this is still a bug. Okay, so nothing fixed to this. Updating apparently didn't fix that. All right. Um, what do we need? We need, uh... Water, right? Um, Oculus accumulator sealed in a bucket. I don't even think we need to upgrade it or anything. It's just, it's fine on its own. We do need a fluid cell though. F3A fixed, well, it might fix it. It doesn't. It doesn't. It's like physical. You can't even interact with any of the stuff. I don't know what, I don't know what it's actually doing. Uh, but you can't interact even with the screen that's supposed to be here. You don't interact with it or anything like that. It's very weird. It's a very weird bug. And it might be something that I added that caused the bug. I don't know. I don't know if other people have experienced it in their playthrough. Okay, back is going to be export, import on the bottom. And then I need some blocks. And as soon as we give this water, it should turn on. Yep, got plenty of water. Level nine.
Perfect. Beautiful. So now we have steam. Um, <clears throat> now piping this to some sort of generator. Uh, feeling with steampunk so far? Um, are you asking about like how I feel about the steampunk mod pack? Has tech popped up yet today? Um, you looked up your processor and wanted to double check? Tech is here today. I don't know if tech is in meetings or anything like that. Okay. So we've got this set up. Um, so the goal, my main goal today was to try and get quartz automated because we're going to need quartz, and this is the only thing I, I don't think we have. So, now that I got the steam engine up and running, we don't have power yet for processing anything. That'll be a whole thing we have to worry about later. Um, let's see. Oh, God. Let's see. But I do... 404 error. I do want to try and use integrated dynamics to potentially get the items from here over here to then be processed. Uh, and I'm trying to think of a good way to like potentially do this. I was thinking of having like a long assembly line that like works all the way through here, but that may not be 100% feasible. Maybe it will, but. We'll just figure that out. First of all, let's see. Let's head back to the storage hub. Storage. Nice. All right. So things I'm going to definitely need are the integrated dynamics stuff. Um, and so I probably need to head back to our storage capital. If I can call it that. Creation station. Ooh, we're maxed out on these actually. Whoa, I was not expecting that. Does this pack not have the eye from ours? No. It does, we, we literally tested that earlier. Uh, the only thing it has is the ability to just work like a, what is it called? Like a, um, scanner? Like where you can just, it like works like a security camera. I think that's the best way to put it. I can't make these. What are we missing? Missing gold casings? Don't I have a recipe for gold casings? I do not. Okay. Um. Looks like we're doing more integrated dynamics than I thought we were going to do. Alright, so I got to get a variable card then. 
recipe. Gold casings. Okay, variable card, perfect. Um, I wonder if this was because we ran out of space here. Is that maxed out? Okay, I just need to add another one then. We have plenty of room for this. We need more logic cables. Crafter. Hey Chad, did you miss anything? Uh oh, you didn't miss anything. We set up a, another, we set up our like 15th generator, uh, stress generator, tier nine craziness. Sable blocking check. Nine Subathon win. Subathon. Calvin. Calvin Tube, thank you, by the way, for the nine months. I've never done anything like that, so I don't What is this? What is a subathon? I, I do Twitch so like part time that I don't I've never been a part of one. I've never done one, so I don't know what that is. Is it just like where you stream like nonstop or something? Basically, I have done 24 hour streams. There's a timer that's constant or that's constantly counting down and people give subs bits and stuff to increase the set timer. That sounds crazy. That's very interesting, though. Sounds like a ton of planning. Okay, something is seized up in here. Integrational machines. Cancel jobs. So what is producing our machines? Does this not produce them? No. Oh, this is just, okay, it's just kinetic. But it didn't craft them? Oh, I forgot about this, lol. Hey, welcome back. Again, with the 14 months. I think it was the tier one. I don't know what this is. Variable card, plastic. This is the plastic one. Oh, great. F3T. Let's reload. Make sure your stuff's available. I know, that's... It, but it... Weird. It should automatically do those checks and it's like it goes, oh, do we have these in stock? Okay, we have these in stock. Now I can craft. Otherwise, it won't let me hit the button or it shouldn't. 
Shouldn't let me start the craft without having them in stock. A little weird that it's doing that. That did not fix it. Sealed mechanisms. Are these just broken then? No, because it made my other carts. Okay, that worked. Now if I go, I need 40. Okay, it's doing it just very slow. It's fine. It's just slow because of this process. That's fine. That's how it's supposed to be. You're liking the music today? Thank you. This is my this is my generation of music. 90s rock anthems is was my generation of I also really love 90s alternative rock. And 2000s alternative was pretty good too. Should we replace Creeper? Creeper hiss to an ender poof. Yeah, I, I'm too. Yeah, I'm too. I'm so used to the Creeper noise. It has caught me off guard though several times. Remember when these were expensive? Oh, they're not so expensive anymore. Uh oh. How am I supposed to see what I'm doing? Shadow, how am I? Now I don't know what I'm doing. Great. Great. The, the, you, yeah. Okay, where am I going? I need to uh, think here, right? Because I need to make these for crafting. Crazy how fast these like deplete. <laughs> okay, goodness. We're only a few years apart, Chosen. I, I'm a 93 three kid, so I'm 31, so makes sense. You got this, I believe in you. Thank you. Shadow over there flipping my screen upside down, though. How am I supposed to get work done? Huh? With all those shenanigans. Okay, so I need to make the monodirectional I don't know how many I'm going to need. Let's just start with eight. And then we need some item interfaces. And we need a exporter? Importer? But the shenanigans are the best. They are good. NFC IO. Welcome, dude. Thank you for the 21 months. And get wrecked. <laughs> Gonna put you in the right head head drawer. Nineties rock anthems are now considered as dad rock. I mean it makes sense. I'm a dad. Yeah. Makes sense. It's weird. I don't even listen to like modern today's rock. I don't even know what what modern rock is today.
Hey, we have item exporter. Should be good. I think that's all we need, right? We just need... This, like, gets linked to a cable, right? And we can have, like, a cable here that's, like, here and here. And that will send the channel through one another. But we've got to, like, do it in a way... So, uh, where do I go to find the config here? Integrated dynamics. That's integrated MBT. Integrated tunnels. Integrated terminals. Integrated mm. dynamics. Uh, okay. Common configs. Um, items, mineral berries, machines, invisible light, mechanical squeezer, cable, dynamics, delay, general. The max offset in blocks a directional connector can look for its target. 96? Is this... Is this what I'm looking for? It can go 96 blocks? Seems like that's probably what it is going to be. 96 blocks. Uh, okay. So... We need to get this into a container. Just use a regular barrel for right now. So I think we're just voiding all of that fluid right now. All right, we'll go to our tunnel and then we need to set our location for the tunnel on where we want to receive this material. I'm thinking like right over here seems good. Let's just say we receive the fluid right about here. Let's see. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, right here. And this will be an item, this will be an item connector, like that, going in the main barrel. And then we need a monodirectional right here. And I need to know the exact coordinate of this. Okay. So our exact tor our target block is 589.67. Six nine zero, and we are gonna have to take this this way. Now I don't know if this. I don't think this has to. Um, it doesn't have to like see blocks, but we have to make sure it's on the exact same Y level. So it needs to be at 67, 690. 67, 690. And then I also need to figure out at what level does this need to be at? Okay. This is redstone hell, by the way. Makes sense. Um, right here, this is where it needs to go. All right. So this 
685. 685. 155. 879. Okay, so we need this to go out to 685. 685. Gotta love the roses. 685. Six ninety. Sorry for the roses. This is the aw this is awful, isn't it? Six eight five or six ninety six ninety. Okay, so we're at six ninety. We need to go up to six seven. Wow, bitrate cannot handle. No, the bitrate cannot handle the roses for some reason. I don't know if it's the color red or what. Is this the target block? We need to go up one more block. Six, seven. This is the target block right here. So this is where we need to make sure. And then now we need to get our direction. We need to get to 679. No, 685. 685. So basically right here. So we'll put a mono here. And I'm assuming this is going to connect. I have, I have no way of knowing if it is connected to that block over there. Okay, and then we'll put another mono here. And then we just need to make our way through this mountain. Then we need to travel all the way to 879. They light up when they connect. So is this connected or no? Oh, shoot. Did they make the range on these even lower? Because these ain't, this ain't doing 500 blocks. I can't tell if that's on or not. Oh, that works. The f what the heck is the range then? Can there not be blocks in between? There can. Do I have this on the right level? 690, because we're not even that many blocks away, are we? Are we 92 blocks out? I don't think we are. Maybe we are. We are. Great. Okay. Why is that range so low? That, that just doesn't seem right. It's like an annoyance more than like a convenient, like, hmm. I don't know who, who cares. All right. We got to go to, what is it? 879. They really want trains. Yeah, but I don't. You could check the config. We did. We just checked the config. 
You can access the configs via the, uh, the create menu. Create, <laughs> create also adds a, a mod menu. All right, we're going to, yeah, 879. The configuration says 512. That's default, probably. I'm pretty sure it's 92 or 96. We just we just looked at it. Wait, is it 32 blocks? Monodirectional base consumption, the base energy usage for monodirectional connectors. No, that's not what I need. We just seen it earlier. I don't even remember where we've seen it. Machine. Cables. General. Max directional connector offset. Ninety six. It's either the thirty two or the ninety six. I'm pretty sure this is the max directional connector offset. The maximum offset in blocks a directional connector can look for its target. So it's 96. If I got this correct, 685, we should be able to mine down and we'll end up in this hole. You think I got corrupted by those roses? It's supposed to be 496. Right. All right, here we are. 685, 8, 7, 9. Okay, good. We do have a way of counting blocks. I don't think there's going to be anything that breaks if we mine down here. Nope. We good. Is this going to cause a problem? Is this more than 90 something blocks down? This so takes us down to 67, right? Or 96 blocks. Shh, shh, shh. 
basically we'll have that here. Can I turn on the bottom? That reaches. Perfect. Who counted as I was going down? You guys are counting? Oh god. So yeah, and then we'll we'll need an importer, actually. Importer. So we still gotta go to the back to the base anyways. I gotta make more of the mono directional. Because we don't have enough. What is the distance though between here so I can get a rough estimate? So 879. We do some quick math chat. Eight seventy nine, six ninety. Eight seventy nine, six ninety. Chen. One hundred and eighty nine. We're going to need at least two junctions. Oops. The wrong button. Get the big zoom in me. All right. Oh, integrated dynamics. Let's do three to be on the safe side. Tunnel. All right. God, the bit rate's so bad. Do I have the abacus on me? This only goes so far, but I could use this to measure. Forty, actually ninety six, forty seven, forty eight. So that's actually perfect because it's ninety six. We'll just restart here, and that'll be forty eight. Let's do forty seven just to be on the safe side. Like I said. Okay, so we notice right there that works. So if we push this back one, if I if I put it over here, I don't think it's gonna work. It doesn't. So it is 96 in this pack. All right? So there we go. That's at max range. So I can select my abacus. Uh, how do you make the just enough items mod show up in the crafting part? How do you make the just enough items mod show up in the crafting part? And you, you're talking about clicking, like how to see, what are you talking, what are you talking about? Dang bang. Maybe kind of describe a little bit more what you're trying to ask so I understand that is connected okay it's already connected
I, I can't. Dude, I always die to freaking creepers. I'm so surprised I didn't die there. I thought you guys were just running the sound again. Do you mean how do you show it in the grid? Like, how do you pull something from searching into a grid? Like, you click the missing... You click the move items button? You click the... Alright, so this just needs an importer. And that should... be teleporting all the items into this barrel. Oh, thank God. There we go. We get items. Um, I'm assuming that these work without chunk loading the nodes. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Um, hmm. Wouldn't it be interesting to build a schematic that can place these down in the exact directions and distances perfectly apart? Hmm. Interesting. Oh, are you talking about how did how did these go over here? Yes, it's called bookmarks. And you hit A over an item, the key A key, and it will assign them to the bookmark bar and A to remove. If you're wanting a whole tutorial on integrated or uh, JEI, I got you. I got you. I got you, bro. I got you. See, who knew that this video would be like one of the most useful videos you'll ever watch in modded Minecraft? Who knew? Who knew? The simplest of the mods is one of the most used mods, but nobody's made tutorials on how to use it. Except for more. I have. That hiss scared you? He got that quick, too. I mean, all I, all I do is I just search JEI Chosen. <laughs> and it pops up. Most topics, if you just search Chosen with it, will pull up my, uh, my videos in some capacity. Who knew it could also be a troll fest when you're playing Minecraft? Oh, you're talking about with the creeper sounds? Yeah. The nonstop creeper noises are scaring me. Then that's the thing. I'm so used to them. Earlier was real creeper noises, though. That was more fake. That was two of them. Okay. Um, so now that we have this, we can start to produce volatile sky solution. And we can start our process of the Certus automation. How do I want to do the Certus automation? Hmm.
Okay. So, step one, spout the volatile sky solution. That's easy. You make the volatile, it's just water, and crush sky stone. You think you can calm PTSD from creeper noises? Dude, I... Just do what I do. I, I don't have it anymore. I ignore that they're even there. If you claim your area in modded Minecraft, you won't have to deal with the creepers as much. They will kill you, and if you're in hardcore, then it's a little bit more PTSD. Yeah, in, in hardcore, it's very much PTSD. Chosen, do you play your music from Spotify? Yes, that's where I'm currently playing it from. That's why it will not show up in the... It won't show up in the VODs. It won't be in the VODs. I play it from two different locations. I use uh, and pay for Pretzel Rocks, and then I also... Some days I just want to listen to normal music. The only reason I have one piece of blast resistance on your armor? Hey, I actually found out that if a creeper blows up next to you and you're in netherite gear with an elytra on, you will survive. If you're in diamond gear with max protection with an elytra on and a creeper blows up next to you, you will die. But in netherite, it's enough protection that it prevents you from dying. So long as you have proc four on the other three pieces. We found out in our hardcore world, I nearly died and it took me down to one heart. And I was like, wow, because I had died that way with my elytra on in the other hardcore series. Okay, I think we'll just mill. So we just need to do a mill. And I, I, this is gonna be pretty limited anyways. So start to set this up. We'll do mill, sky stone into mill, make sky stone dust. Uh, we also need sand. We can do a double mill. Do mills feed into each other? Probably with a shoot. We can do like a cobble gin on top of two mills to have sand. Because so I think that removes the byproducts, right? Yeah, it's just direct with this. It's a 33% chance though. But that's still probably fine. So I don't have to deal with other things. So I need an igneous extruder, two mills. And then volatile sky solution, which is water. We need an Oculus accumulator. You have run projectile protection, protection, fire protection. Hopefully you can remove soon and blast protection. Having, it is not a good idea to typically run all of the types of protection on your armor. I, I think like the majority of people we will run and for very specific reason, I think we get like a, if you have max proc, yeah, you get 80% reduction. Um, if you run like, for example, projectile protection, you're getting a reduction in damage from those sources. But if you run protection, then you get a reduction in damage from all sources. Um, now fire, fire protect has its own use in, for example, like the nether, which is great for if you're going to like, for example, go on the, the lava and stuff. But in general, just having proc four on all your pieces is the best bet overall and that might change in the new version right we may want projectile protection if we're going into like the new dungeon where we're going to be dealing with a lot of arrows hitting us but still protection proc for maybe king still even in that situation
Okay, so I need to get... We need sand for multiple things. Not for the volatile sky solution, though. Okay. I might just use integrated dynamics for a lot of this. Right? Because I can just have a single integrated dynamics node right here. It just sends this into the mill to get milled. And then the results of the mill can be just pulled out. Which will be the sky stone. And we'll just send that into a basin. Tech Josh started up the helicopter at 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 to give chosen five thousand bits. It's Spooder Man. It's Zach's like you need some more sus in your life, chosen. And they ruined sus bits. What do you mean they ruined the sus bits? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh god! This is actually really bad. I hate when the screen flips and you guys do this. Gah. Just stay away from the lava, Chosen. You'll be fine. Oh god. This way, this way, this way, this way. Yeah. Quit with the pop-ups! <laughs> Dang it. Alright, I gotta get out of here. We're gonna get jammed up. <laughs> Tech, again, thank you for the 5,000 bits, man. The heck? Hope you're having a good day, by the way. Oh, Jesus. You guys don't want to know what's underneath the Sp Spooter Man skin. Unfocused. Dab <laughs> causing Unfocused. 500 bits to fall into it's Chosen's hands. It's the Salt Oh, God. <laughs> the pop-ups are the worst. Why did I even add that? I'm just making it even worse. <laughs> Even worse on myself. Jesus. We're contacting you about your car's extended warranty. Dude, I need to add a bunch of funny memes to the pop-ups that pop up. Like, they'll be all different. I just gotta make a whole bunch of events. And have them all have a random chance of show showing up. And then they all have a funny joke associated with them. Or I can make a variable that's a list of a bunch of jokes. And to have that variable, uh, it's getting a little more complicated. There's probably a way to do it. I'm just not smart enough. Unfocus, by the way. Thank you for the 500 bits. Tech, thank you so much, my dude. For the 5,000 bits. Jesus Christ. I, w I tried to get it to show the message. But I noticed... By the way, what I noticed that for some reason the pop up will not take on the user. So if I check my event, right, that was a pop up um, event right here contacting you. Fixed message. Or just message. If I search if I do fixed message, it doesn't copy it. If I do just name, I, I want to do display name. Let's just copy display name variable. And I say, okay, display name variable, right? It doesn't take the prompt. Right? It just says display name. I don't know why it doesn't take the variable, even though it should, but it doesn't. I wonder if that's a, it's just a bug. Maybe you have to do something weird. I don't tip. Well, typically it doesn't require that. For example, the chat message, right? This just basically when it does the check, it checks for that variable and holds that variable. And we assign the variable with the, uh, the money symbol. 
the dollar symbol or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. I don't know why it won't work. Everything else works. It won't even do message. It won't do any other variable. Unless I can assign a variable to hold, but then that wouldn't work. I don't know. Might be something I can ask uh, Dark Fan, maybe. Or ask uh, Generic V. All right, so yeah, we can just like chain these things up, which is kind of kind of cool. Um, let's see, this will be a volatile sky solution, right? So let's gonna get this. We also need to feed water to this. I need to make just a bunch of. Maybe I can make a single unit that, like, is just for water? Hmm. Ask Wiggly? Yeah, I can ask Wiggly, too. They may know. It could be something in this version that's broken. Yeah, I, I would say that there's there's maybe an issue with their the variable not existing, but that's not true because we know it's not true because whenever I look at the event reward, there is a display name variable that is stored. And you can also see the color. You can see there's a message associated with it. Um, and there is a fixed message variable that is being assigned and there's also a message variable. So weird stuff. I just expected it to work, but it didn't. Um, all right. I'm going to have to craft up more of the integral machines. So if I do the storage, we can do store. Does any, I wonder if integrated dynamics like likes doing this. We can go from the Opta. Sir, do you have a moment to talk about your, about, about our Lord and Savior, Cody? Wait, what? <laughs> what? Good God. Okay. Uh, I don't want to use Omnis, but I do want to use... So if I do... go, If I go from, like, right to left... Or we go from left to right. If I go from left to right, which is what I typically like to do... And I don't know if that's going to work. Hopefully it does. We can go... Export... From the right... It'll be import into the network. So we need importers if I'm going to go about it that way. And I also need fluid interfaces. So I don't have to deal with create. And then I typically like to go fluid interface from the storage. And we export out of the source. Uh, does integrated include a storage with auto crafting? Yes. That's what this is. Uh, and then this is my auto crafting solution, right? We have... These are crafting cards 
that are on a logic cable in a crafter. And then I have them interfaced into here and then importers pulling out and back into the system and all that fun stuff. These are all utilizing integrated dynamics for auto crafting. I was like, wait, why is he not doing anything? Minecraft Air? What? All right, I think we have enough to go back. Oh, I need, um... Tank. I didn't need that, did I? I mean, I'll need them later. I need a bunch of buckets. Oh, come on, I have plenty of iron. Okay, should be good. I think the Aku's accumulator, can it work from the fluid source being on the bottom of it? I don't remember if that's the case. It just needs to be on any connected face. Let's see. And does it work? Oh, this is the version that doesn't work with the leaves. That's right, this is 118. I'm like jumping between so many different versions of Minecraft. Tunnel, tunnel. Probably need to change my scroll. Alright, so the idea on this, we have this here. Or, sorry, actually, no, this here. Ooh, highly recommend not connecting integrated dynamic parts to these blocks. They are known to cause a lot of lag most of the time. Uh, you know what? I'm going to ignore you. And I'm going to do whatever I want to do. All right. You don't tell me what to do. We'll just, uh, we'll just go from there. We'll see how laggy it is. If it's very laggy, then we'll fix it. Probably limit the updates, right? On this. So import into the storage. That's got Skystone in it. Import items into here that this produces. Chosen, um, have you seen a collecting air at all? I assume it's when items are going into my backpack, but I haven't seen it before. I mean, we just had this Minecraft air. I don't know if that's what you're talking about. Okay. Thank you, by the way, for the follows, guys. I appreciate that. We're getting very close. Like, we are uh, getting very close to 100,000 subscribers, not subscribers, followers over here on Twitch. Which is kind of mind-boggling. Um, so, we need water on this. All right, that's going to go in there. Now, to export this fluid out, which we can definitely do. Let's go ahead and get the water in here, though. Um, so I was wondering, can I just put, like, a, a single block, like, on the bottom? 
And then... do like like this no it has to be on the side oh. goofy okay if that has water Yeah, in Steampunk, all items you get show in the bottom right, and it says air for me. Huh-uh. I've not seen that. I have no idea. Wouldn't surprise me, though. The pack's got a, got a interesting... It's pretty interesting. Okay, there's the volatile... We just need to send that somewhere, and that's going to have to go into making these. Okay, so we get our Certus Seed initially from crushing the Certus Crystal. I wonder if these still grow in water. Does the growth accelerator still work in here? You can still make a growth accelerator. I wonder if you could like maybe make that operation better by sending it into the water to be grown and then pulling it out once it's grown. And then you would get like a bonus, right? Then it would be a guaranteed two keeping one looping. Every process. All right, so this needs to go the volatile sky solution. This I guess is probably where we're going to start our belt line because this is this is going to have to have a belt. Let's just start here. Let's just say you send it down. Black Thunder, dude. Think of the 24 months. Holy smokes. Full two years. Appreciate you, my dude. I don't know why I didn't spawn anything. Maybe it's delayed. Mossy Rooks has finally got a stream earlier. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Sorry I missed that chat. Okay. Um, so we need the initial Certus, which this can be done down the line, right? Um, I got to remember how I set this up. The first thing we do is we make the Certus Seed. Okay, Certus Seed gets made. Then these Certus Seeds get Volatile Sky Saluted. Uh, and then there's a chance that it, turn it, it gives the Seeds back, 70% chance. God, I hate this math problem. So 
So this gives us, um, Can you not do the budding block? It doesn't exist in this version. That was the new version of Applied Energistics. No, this is its own process added by the pack. I'm trying to think this, so 30% of them, so one third, but it's not exactly one third, and it's only a chance, will produce a Certus Quartz cluster. We just need to loop the salvage stuff back around like we were doing at the other one. So when we get the seed, it gets sent onto the belt. So when we get the seed, it gets sent onto the belt. I, I'm going to probably have a mill. If I'm thinking about doing this correctly, I'm going to do a mill a little differently than I did last time. I'm going to put a mill right here. And that mill is then going to take some excess that gets produced and it's going to throw it back over here. And then we're going to have a system that uh, uses the create uh, round robin stuff to to determine where these are going to go when they go there. And then this will get flung back into this millstone. Um, so this will be a funnel. Let me move this stuff real quick. You forgot this was older. Yeah, unfortunately. Okay, so that's going to get spit into here. And then we're going to need an item vault to do the looping. Okay. Uh, and then we need a couple of things, right? To make this. So we need a booper. Gonna be the first thing that happens it gets booped and does this need to be smelted it does okay so it needs to be booped hmm yeah and then we'll have a big funnel stretched over here Like that. <clears throat> so I get it. That'll get booped. Um, then we just need to get the sky solution into this. Perfect. This will be a fluid interface. I have to set up a filter, I think, on the export. Um, I think I can do fluid and I can specify volatile, let's see, sky. I can volatile sky solution and specify that specifically. Oops. Fluid volatile sky solution variable card. Okay. And then we'll have an exporter. And this will be on export fluid. Perfect. So that'll keep that in stock. Then we got to create the loop. Loop is going to look 
for a very specific item and then is going to toss it back and then we just need an inventory well actually we'll need a belt line how's that gonna work because uh, we're, we're gonna need to split it we, we can probably have a, a barrel I think that's gonna be a better way to do this And make sure it always splits two. Yeah, okay. Um, so we'll do this. If we put this right here. Then that will cook so we can smelt the items that are directly here. This will be configured to only accept that one item. And then we need a flinger. So then accept this. And this will be prefer nearest. I think if I do this though, I'm going to end up with a problem. And you just split with brass tunnel. I have to have a filter on this brass tunnel, so. Um, the problem is there's a chance this is gonna throw it. What I'm gonna need to do is if this is full, I need to lock this funnel. So what I want is whenever this fills up, it's going to send a signal to this funnel. It's going to lock the funnel. So then this will build up and then it won't, it will no longer have a place to send the items for the weighted ejector. So the item will end up building up on here. Um, if I set this to one, then it'll only accept the one and then that should solve our logistics problem. Probably one of the most simple ways possible. We just gotta get filters on here, and then we also gotta get fans. Um, because we're gonna smelt the items, right? This needs lava. All right, so then that's going to cook them. Then we have our filter that's going to happen. Uh, and I, the only way I have to do this is by just setting up filters right now. Okay. So we need a filter that is going to be just Certus. Right, and this is an allow list. Only allow Certus. Um, and then this needs to be only allow Certus seeds. In this filter. And then these we don't have to worry about. Those will be fine. And I think that's going to work. That'll toss that up here. And then we should just get Certus as an output. Like a net positive. Anything that's a net positive will end up going here.
I, I think. <laughs> I think. I hope. <laughs> <clears throat> if only there was an easier way to like smelt the items. I mean, we'd have to take it from here into something else to smelt it. You may have run into a problem. What, with this or with something else? Okay, we also need sand, so this is where our sand needs to go. It needs to go into here. Um, and this is where we could do a double grinder. I haven't tried this, so I don't know if this actually works, but if we have two grinders on top of each other, let's try a thing here. Okay, if I, for example, take, like, cobble, and I put cobble in here, does it automatically put it down here? It doesn't automatically, so we have to have a shoot. Okay. We can use this cable line, I think, for this. So I'm not, like, interfering. We'll just connect to this in some way. Let's see. I need... Vertical... Vertical gear box. And we can put a cog here. You're finishing up yesterday's video? The thing at the end was crazy. <laughs> you can see it uh, being super useful for things like farming mobs, drops, or uh, like souls or whatever. I'm trying to think of what was yesterday's video. Are you talking about the, the cobblestone one? Probably the cobblestone oh. one, yeah. Cobblestone generator. The immersive engineering. Okay, I need a barrel. We'll hook up integrated dynamics. We'll say item interface. We need an item exporter because we're exporting into this. And the network's connected here. And this just needs to say all items. And then we got to get a cobblestone generator here and then feed this. Perfect. It's beautiful chat. You 
you had that random trinket from a stronghold loot table. Oh, that does the teleport. Oh, okay, that, that item. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that... So apparently you can find them in there. I also found you can find them in dungeons underground that have, like, a lot of supplementary items in them. Because I've also now got the golem core, which is insanely powerful. Um, I still haven't found the one I want, which is the angel one. I still want the angel core because that gives you creative flight around your base near a beacon. Similar to this pack. This just has a different item for it. Isn't this crazy? This is just for making the darn Certus Quartz. Will, I also found the ocean one. Yeah, the ocean one is amazing. Yeah. I found the will of the ocean. Will of the ocean's ridiculous. All of them are kind of ridiculous. Okay. Found a golem mod that adds golems, bosses, armor, and weapon. There's, there was a golem mod I remember playing with a long time ago that added um, golems of different, like, materials. So, like, if you had... Uh, it was just of varying materials, which was kind of interesting. So if you had, like, amethyst, you can make an amethyst golem. So on and so forth. Gearbox, some shafts. Should we really get the power from over here? Or the other side? Just a heads up, I don't know if it's a bug or what on Steampunk, uh, but you got the Elder Guardian to drop the eye, and it doesn't work on the end portal. I had to give myself the correct version for it to work. Hmm. I mean, there are, they're like, there's there's more eyes than there are slots. For example, in the, uh, the end remastered mod. So, technically, um... I need a rotational speed controller. I think I have them. So technically, you don't need all of the eyes. And so, like, if, if you don't want that particular eye, you don't have to use that eye. There's You only need 12 eyes, and there's, like, 18 or something like that. I think the one for the horses would be pretty difficult. It's pretty RNG-based. Very low percent chance to actually get the horses to spawn, to get the souls from the skeleton horses. Okay, that's spinning in the right direction, but that's... we got to get a rotational speed controller. I think it's a brass mechanism. Right, but the eye that it drops is when you combine it with something from the Havasus Forge. Not the base item. Hmm. See, I have no... I. I haven't looked that far. I mean, I'm working towards getting the eyes slowly. I just got the eye from a dungeon or from a 
abandoned mine shaft. I think I have six eyes, six out of the total twelve needed. It's not that's not a huge challenge. I've done this multiple times. I've done the eye stuff in other mods, mod packs. Okay. Uh, speed controller. So brass mechanism. And I'm pretty sure I can just craft up like several of those. I need to keep these on me. Popular MMOs doesn't put out videos anymore. I, I don't remember watching, like, for example, popular MMOs. Don't remember it. This should be able to tap into there. That gets most of the stuff spinning. Not everything. Gets most of it spinning. Um, we've got to power a few things here. And i got to make sure all the fans are spinning in the right direction. Like that's spinning in the wrong direction. Okay. Which means that we need a gearbox. And a shaft. Okay. That's blowing that way. Perfect. And then we need to get power to this. I'm pretty sure when it spins clockwise, it's pushing. Uh, when it spins counterclockwise, it's pulling. I think. This is spinning clockwise. That blows. Yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. So that's our two positions there blowing, but we've got to get another one down here. It's a little bit more complicated to get down here to this. Is that going the right direction? Yay, it is. Okay, perfect. All right. So now we just need lava on that. Lava on all sides. Today's going to be fun. Well, that's good to hear. Any tips for getting into create? Uh, it's not long ago you started playing Steampunk Minecraft mod pack. I mean, I have a lot of tips in that mod pack that I'm playing on YouTube. A lot of tips over there on that. Out of shafts? Dang, I'm out of shafts. Um time to go back to the base again. You 
learned all you create from chosen. Hopefully, hopefully I uh, didn't lead you in a in a poor direction with that. Hopefully, I did a pretty good job in teaching you. Type in chosen, create. So the reason I'm putting it like this is so I can use gearboxes and this makes it incredibly easy to power these things like this. And so now we have volatile sky solution building up just like that. You're surprised you didn't use a contraption based cobble gin in your video, actually. You What? Are you are you talking about this? Like I'm confused. Are you are you talking about This massive cobblestone generator. We have drills that are now spinning actually in the correct This this thing? So this is all gonna continue spinning. You see it's gonna stop once. Uh so you're you're saying I should have used a a a, a setup from somebody some other YouTuber? Instead of coming up with my own creative way of doing it. I think I think I'm not talking to you, Moss. I think um, you may just not watch that video. Unless you were talking about. Like the multitude of ways of doing that. There's so many ways. Like, for example, I took a. I have this cobble gin. Right, it's pretty. It's very small for what it is. As there's a full scale version of this. But are, are you meaning like this to break the blocks? Because I didn't want to do that. I wanted to come up with my own clever way of doing it. And I love it. I've never seen a vertical cobblestone generator done by anybody using Create. Everything's been horizontal. You know, takes up a wide space. That thing is a is a bean pole, man. Produces sixty four cobblestone every operation. It's fantastic. Pretty, really fast, really fast. Way faster than I need. I already got stacks of iron now. Blocks. But yeah, I would much rather. It was cool to see. Yeah, I would much rather build something that I can call my own creation than to use someone else's. However, I have used someone else's. I have used multiple. I've used, I, I modified that one from another content creator. See, it's hard for me to remember the names of people that I've seen their setups for. That one has been widely used. I can't remember the name of the person that did the one with like the gantry moving back and forth. I changed the little bit on that one to make it a little more cost efficient. Um. And then there's also this, the other sifting one that was by, uh, uh, Tango Tech, I think Tango Tech did that one. I don't remember, but the vertical one I, I like fits my base a little bit better. I didn't really have an area to like, unless I buried it underground somewhere. It's got that problem, right? Where everything's just so ugly sometimes. Yeah, I'm not ready to turn this on just yet or speed it up, but everything is functioning as you would hope. We got to get lava. Crazy, where would I get lava from? Do 
Do I have any buckets on me, though? I do not. I do. Hopefully this doesn't like burn the item that I'm about to do. Like when the item gets tossed, hopefully it doesn't burn the item. That would suck. Oh, welcome. Okay. Uh, all of this, by the way, for Certus, for producing Certus Quartz. Yeah, I think everything's ready to go. We just need to toss our first service quartz in and just hope it loops. And then when this shuts down, I mean, I may have to change how this weighted ejector sends the items, but we'll see. Oh yeah, I got to make a cobblestone generator. That's right. Also, this is not spinning because I didn't, I didn't hook this in yet. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. This should this should start running really good once we get it all ready to go. All right, let's head back to storage base. We make our cobblestone generator. Um, storage base. Because I did not make an igneous extruder, even though I should have. Plastic. And then I need piston, regular piston. How can you get all your blocks so easy while building with create? In, are you talking about in this pack? Or are you talking about in my storage? You're probably talking about the storage. I'll show you. Um, so accessing all of my items, I have a cart over here that I have a bunch of storage crates on. And you hold down Alt and you can access those. And inside of them, I have ac I have all of my stuff filtered. I even have a schematic cannon on here. So this is just a cart contraption. I can pick it up and move it wherever I need to access it. It's got a limited range, so that's the downside. Alright, I think the Ignis Extruder doesn't automatically send the item, so I've got to use a, another chute. Which is fine. And this for cobble. Just needs water and lava. Okay. So you use a hotkey for it. The default hotkey is alt. Left alt. Yes. That's how you access your toolboxes is left alt.
Okay, it's got sand. It's only a 33% success rate from this, but... But we don't have to deal with byproducts, which... I don't want it to deal with byproducts. I mean, they wouldn't be that hard to get rid of. The trash can, I guess. It also costs a lot more rotational stress. This is 1,000, which is not as much as everything else. All right, I think I think we're about ready. Uh, I just need to get some upgrades, right? I think I need... I don't have any on me, do I? No. Uh, do you know you can run four crushing wheels at the same spot? And if so, does it go from cobble to sand just faster? It it goes faster, but it produces byproducts. Right? So here's the here's the recipe for this. Gravel straight to sand with a 33% chance. Uh, where the crushing wheels 100% chance to get your sand from gravel? Uh, I don't know if it'd be faster, but it definitely will give. It would be faster at producing sand because it's 100. percent But you also get flint and clay, so you got to deal with byproducts. Now you could also use crushing. This also deal has a byproduct as well. Like there's Ars Nouveau you could use, but yeah, crushing wheels are good. They also cost more stress though, which I'm not super worried about, but they do cost more stress. Okay, I need. integral component and that should be plenty This one, I don't think, lets you name it. Does this one work? I think we tested this and found out it doesn't do that. No. Dang it. What is going? Whoa! Okay. Um. It was just all glitched out. Oh, yeah, I fixed it. Renamed the wrong thing. Okay, so that produces cobble faster. I have a feeling that's going to be a bottleneck. There are things we could potentially... I mean, maybe it won't be that bad of a bottleneck. It's definitely going to be a bottleneck. We might have to use crushing wheels. Thankfully, we can just swap this out directly with crushing wheels. Which is not a huge deal. 
Okay. Um. So let's head back to the storage real quick. And let's try to start this. Yeah, this is a problem. What is... It's like not rendering it, even though it's there. Is it because it creates doing weird stuff? Okay. Here is going to be the start. I don't see anything happening. Do I need to re-log? Is it Skystone then Sand? Oh god, I hope not. I hope not. I don't think so. It was producing Certus because it was sending it across. It's just not wasn't displaying anything. There we go. So this will build up. That's what I needed to do is build up. And then as soon as this builds up, right, that's when we'll start seeing a, a product. So as soon as this Certus Seed builds up inside the item vault, that's when we know we have... Did I do it backwards? No, it's... Oh, it goes from left to right. I did do it backwards. I'm a dork. Okay, I can fix this, though, quite easily. I think. I just need to swap these. I'm a goofball. Uh, that's because I'm going from right to left, and it's, yeah. Whoops. I mean, it was still continuing in the loop, so it's not like it was fully breaking anything. I think it would, it just doesn't work. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't help my automation any. Kind of just causes more problems. Okay, and then we got to put the fluid back on here. Items back on here. This is the item variable card. And then this is the fluid variable card.
I think this just has a little bit of a sort of bottleneck to kind of get through. Like the more Certus we give this. The quicker this will build up. As soon as this hits. Let's see. Or we can make this threshold way smaller. if it even needs it, right? I just want to see it. It's about to be full of Certus Seeds, but not Certus Crystals. <clears throat> oh, we get popped up. Uh-oh. Okay, there it builds up. If we put a funnel, then it this would... Okay, now it's building up. As soon as this hits 64, though... Now we're running into the bottleneck. seem to be concentrating yeah i'm a little concentrated sorry it's because this is like a pretty complex thing how so how many certus seeds can build up inside of this millstone inventory see if this has a redstone signal it's shut off i can give it a redstone signal on the bottom and give it an inverted redstone signal and that would make this a lot less just add another one into the mix I do like the pop-ups it's kind of funny and it's almost like it snaps me out of whatever concentration I currently have I don't actually mind that at all It's slowly building up. The farting sound's still making you laugh. Oh, God. I feel like they, like, lowered the, free the uh, like, the frequency of it. Uh, Zephyr Zero, thank you, dude, for the 300 sussy bits. I appreciate you, my man. Hope you're doing well. I'm, like, thinking now about, like, 
a subathon. You guys were talking about that earlier. Subathon would be very interesting. And maybe having like some interesting goals. Don't know what the goals would be, but having some goals. Do like the idea. Never done anything like that, so it'd all be new to me. That seems like a lot of planning, too. I'd have to... I gotta figure out, like, what I would do. What... Like, I'm assuming you, you set, like, goals? To, like, reach? Goal of a sussy bit tattooed on your forehead? Oh, my God. Yeah, I don't think I'll go that far. Don't think I'll go that far. I have two tattoos. I don't know if I want to get any more tattoos. Like... Ouch. We're at 27. So, like I said, as soon as this fills up... I mean, we could make it a little... Well, no, it'd still have to fill the internal buffer. So, once this reaches its maximum... ...of 64... ...then we'll be good. Has this emitted a redstone signal yet? No, it hasn't. Interesting. So I wonder if this is even necessary. We shouldn't really have a buffer that builds up because of the way this is situated. This just can't even output the the Certus crystals. Having a like a hair bleached as a goal, like I wonder what my hair would look like, like bleached, like white, beard and all. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to do that. That would be awful, man. Could you imagine? I don't know. Maybe dye my hair a different color though. I could do that. I've never really had my hair dyed. But I bet my wife would love that. Go for a Guy Fieri look. Yeah. That'd be kind of interesting, wouldn't it? Dye hair creeper green. I would I wouldn't mind it. This is keeping up now, by the way. Reminds me of the April Fools. I mean, you could have like a, a sub goal where like my wife has to play for like so long. If it's a subathon, I'm, I'm assuming there's like some kind of levels. Broken your heart. How do you break your heart? With the April Fools video. Oh, because you thought I was done with the mod pack? I didn't honestly thought people were going... I didn't even think it was going to, like, fool anybody in that regard. I, I didn't even think about it doing that. You forgot it was April Fool's? Oh, no. You know, I'm still playing the pack. <laughs> it was like, oh, God, someone on the server is a horrible person. Yeah, that would really suck, wouldn't it? <laughs> We're at 59. So I, th I think... I don't think this is going to just try and toss it on there once it hits max.
And now it's at 64. And now it's holding. It's holding. It's holding, chat. It's holding. Oh, we got our first... First product of our, of our setup here. We now... It's all profit from here. So it'll keep itself running, but everything else is just profit from this point. So if this builds up... So based on the percentages, this should... Like... The way the percentages are set up, we should now always keep this in stock, but it's also going to now be all profit going over here while this always runs. What about a goal for multiplayer? Let me write these things down, by the way. Well, some other ideas. Um, multiplayer server with supporters. That'd be fun. Like maybe just open up a, like a vanilla somewhat or something like that. Maybe some other like a map or something. Maybe like a parkour map. Something like that. Get Miles involved. Miles will be good at setting all that up. Alright, we solved one of our major problems today. Yeah, I put on there, I put, uh, so far I got, um, some of the ideas like dye hair, wife plays, uh, multiplayer server with supporter friends, or, uh, multiplayer server with supporters. Uh, maybe parkour maps. Chat chooses new modded series. That sounds like a bad idea. I feel like that's a long-term thing. Mod packs typically take me like three or four months to complete series four. So that one would be a little bit up there. <clears throat> that okay so now we have Certus courts <clears throat> could be like high on the list oh yeah I'm not I don't know yeah definitely want like a viewer integration like we typically do with CCI effect lists that way you guys have a effect list that you can pull up it'll be fun it, it'd take a lot of planning i would almost have to redo obs and make new profiles exclusively for a subathon that'd be something i'd have to figure out i'd also have to figure out how the whole timer thing works with adding time to a subathon i'm sure there's like subathon timers probably Oh, this is so good. Okay. Oh, so that makes this. But now we've got to get... For example, we've got to get printed... Or we got to get... Um, precision mechanisms. Kinetic mechanisms. And radiant mechanisms. All to this location. Now here's here's something that I want I, I want to know if I can do and I don't know how to do it with integrated dynamics where, where I can say hey pull out of this inventory but only only pull out if only pull out so many if it's like over this amount um, we need to go back to the storage base and test this out.
All right? We, we got to play around with this a little bit. Um... I need a variable store. Yeah, but chosen knows his viewers. Put a number knowing that those views are going to try and hit it. I mean, I think that's the point of a subathon, right? Is for you guys to sub, gift sub, things like that. It, to extend the stream, right? That's what you guys said it was. So the, the main idea is to extend the stream. Which seems very interesting. <clears throat> And then to have goals on top of there, right? Maybe sub goals for reaching so many Twitch subs and maybe bit goals and stuff as well. All right, let's test this with stone in a barrel. Let's do two barrels, double barrels here. Okay, so we have a barrel here and a barrel here. The idea is I, and, and I think I played around with this a little bit and I couldn't figure it out, but today I got to figure it out. I've got to figure this out. So we need an interface and we need item exporter. So let's just do an item exporter. I'm going to try and use my big brain here, right? Okay, so the idea is we have our logic cable, we have an exporter. The exporter is going to pull from this barrel into this barrel. But I only want it to pull items if, there's my conditional, if, for example, it is more than a stack in the barrel. Right, more than a certain number in the barrel. Um, so, I th think we have the ability here to do conditionals, and we can do a boolean under the export items. And so if we do a boolean, either true or false, we can say, we can make it true or false by making the true or false card Recognize if a number of items is greater or less than than a certain amount that I set in this card, right? So I should be able to do that. I should be able to say like integer. Um, and I set my integer as 64 and we make an integer card. Okay, so now we have our integer card. Um, and then I need to combine this integer card Uh, I need two integers, right? Int, I need another int. Uh, or no, I don't. I don't. I just need greater than. Um, greater than, not less than. If one number, if input type number is greater than this input type I recommend naming the cards I mean for a simple operation I just need to kind of get it in my hand head greater than greater than or equal right
can we just define any? It requires input type any. So we can specify like an item. So, so item stone. If it's greater than 64, if item is greater than 64, okay, operator received an input with type item at position one while number was expected. Okay, so we can't do that. You hate integrated because it's too too complicated sometimes. Swap them. Yeah, that's not going to work. Uh, this says any though. But it's expecting a number conditional. Uh, are we able to combine item and variable concat? That's not going to work. An inventory reader would help with this. Okay. So an inventory reader is required for this. This one is an is inventory if the target has an inventory. Target inventory not empty, inventory full. Inventory count. Ah. Okay. <clears throat> so we have an inventory count. This could work. For like a single barrel. This could work. Um, we would hook our variable store to this. We would put our variable count as that integer inside of here. And then we have our variable, bo uh, our boolean condition. That'll be if We'll see greater than. So we can say greater than 64 on this inventory counter. Oh God, if What do we need? What, what conditions are we checking though? We're checking if the inventory is greater than 64. So if this is a variable, is there an easier way to do this? Wait till I release a video. I'm trying, I'm trying to understand it. Uses integers greater than uses numbers. Throw it in lava. <laughs> Integers are a subtype of numbers in the great dynamics. Okay, I need no. 
I'm assuming it'd be like this. This. If inventory count is greater than... I don't think this is specific, right? This is just looking for the variable number. That's right. I was thinking that this was looking for 64. If inventory count is greater than 64, then it is true. If true, then we need to send our items. This needs to go in the variable store, both of these integers. And then this operation will export all items. You see it's false right now because it's not greater than. But as soon as I put this in, now it sends the items. Okay. I had to like wrap my head around it for a moment, get into my like logical brain of programming. But that does work. Okay. And there's no way of getting rid of this variable store, right? We can just combine these two things together with this thing. Not an MPD extractor, the other block. What is it called now? The proxy. Or materializer. Materializer. I don't think that did what I wanted it to do. Yeah, now it's aired out. Okay, so to make this more clear and concise. Um, and then I'm assuming after you have these two conditions defined. Okay, let's clear this out. Okay. So yeah, the idea is we are reading the inventory variable. The way I see it is chosen is confused. 95% of the viewers are going to be so lost. I mean, this is, uh, I think, dependent on how well versed you are in actual programming, not necessarily playing Minecraft. All right, so we have our inventory, and then we have an inventory reader. The inventory reader has a integer value that is a number that will change as this goes up. So if I put 64 more in, this is now displaying there's 128. This variable can be set, or this integer can be set inside of this card, and that will dynamically change while it's inside of the variable store. So that integer value will change depending on what the inventory reader is reading. That's what I had to wrap my head around. Then you can use that variable inside of a program to make a Boolean. Uh, but first we do need another integer to compare it to. And that can, that value, like for example, is 64. Um, and then I'll assign that variable here. And then we can use both of these combined to do a greater than, which will return a Boolean value. And so we're going to check the if the inventory, the variable card, the inventory count is greater than the integer value that we set, which was 64. And then that returns a true or false. If it is greater in this particular case, then it returns true. If true, then the items will be sent, which is what we want. True means send the items in this, uh, this mod. Um, if it doesn't meet those characteristics, then it's going to remain false, right? Um, and if I go ahead, we can't actually use these variables in this particular card, right? I can't, if I put this in here, it says variables not found because you have to have a variable store because it needs a place to actually read and determine the values of those variable cards. So those all have ID values associated with them. And so with that now in a store, now we can access these things. So you can see there are 64 items in here. As soon as I add one, then it sends an entire stack, right? Um, which is, isn't it doing exactly what I want? Uh, Cause if I wanted to change that, 
um, we would have to we'd have to change how this is exporting. Right now, it pulls an entire stack. But if we set this to one, it would be way more accurate in the representation um, of how many items it's actually going to send. You can see right here, it's going to send them all one at a time. But if I was to add just one, it's only going to send one while remaining still 64 in the total inventory. It's a lot to do this sort of thing. And it can be also done in the reverse direction. I just, I had to, I had to wrap my head, take the time and wrap my head around how I was going to do this successfully. Um, so this actually makes it a lot easier on us. Um, we just got to make sure it can read, this inventory reader can actually read from barrels. Functional storage barrels, I really hope so. That'd be kind of frustrating if it can't. So let's remove this and we'll put a barrel in here. And we'll put stone in it. That should not change anything here. It still says 64. As soon as they put more in, you can see those numbers are going to change. Good. This is actually really, really helpful. The reason is, is because on our next step, we have to get all of these like kinetic mechanisms and stuff. We have to get these to another location. And what we don't want to do is we don't want to pull all of them out from the main area. We only want to pull out excess that gets generated. Um, otherwise, we'll be left with no way to make resources in the future, and that wouldn't be good. You try to take notes and it turned into my me drawing a stick figure guy trying to fish. Makes sense. Uh, if you don't have a basis of programming, this is going to be very hard. If you don't know what strings are, if you don't know what uh, types are, um, it's going to be hard. If you don't know what a boolean is, it's going to be hard. If you don't know what doubles and longs mean, it's going to be hard. There's a lot of things that are like outside of the realm of uh, programming, like for example, ingredients. Like these are related to Minecraft. Recipes are related to Minecraft. Flu is related to Minecraft. Operators are not. Strings, lists, lists are um, like 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 almost like dictionaries. They they hold information, multiple, either multiple strings, multiple integers, multiple things like that. Integers are numbers. And number, they have different types. Yeah. Interesting. Min, max. All, these are all, yeah, arithmetic related things. So doing your calculator, you can do a calculation. You should be able to take these two variables right here. And this is kind of interesting. We could, we could definitely do this. Uh, do I have a display? So this is kind of interesting. We can do some arithmetic with this. We have the integer 64, and then we have this variable card integer. We can do some arithmetic, and we can add these two numbers together. And since one changes, right, it should output a number right here in this, num this variable card. And so we can do a little bit of math. If we want to display this number, we can display it here. And you'll see it's it's 128. If I add, uh, let's take this out of here so it doesn't like go crazy. Well, I guess this would actually show it pretty cool, I think. We can see the math changing. Um, let's see. We could also just display exactly how many items we have or something. So this will like do dynamic addition. You can see the numbers are dynamically being added, subtract, it's being uh, currently reduced. Every new operation is running the addition op operation where it goes, how many items are in here? Plus 64. Also, this is a way of displaying the items in here so we can see there's a 64 in here. So I guess it's a better representation of how that functions. And so the more numbers I, I add in here, more they're going to be in here. Also, 
That makes sense. Okay, so we don't need this. We, we don't need the inventory count variable in the store. We just need the number that we're storing because this is already connected to the inventory. That makes sense. Your Twitch messed up and the, and the video in chat was spazzing out. Oh, God. Yeah, you can also have this display items uh, as a inventory as well. That's connected to the network. You can be like, all right, I want to display an item. I've played around with this a little bit. I've used a lot of the redstone stuff with this mod. You can say display that. And then this will display stone. But it's not linked to anything. So it doesn't know like what it's even looking for to display, but that, but this should be able to display it right here. So if you link this variable card to that screen, now it will display how many stone. And if you had multiple items, it would show those two. So. That's interesting. Also, this shows that it's not linked anymore. So does this variable need it? Oh, it does. It shows that it needs it. When I pull this out, it was just working. Oh, it worked because I had the variable card in here. That's right. Interesting. So this logic cable acts as a variable store. That's weird. I didn't expect that. So I guess it's a one way to track your variables. So yeah, you could use this to track a variable and visually see it. Hmm. The more you know. Who knew you'd be learning about this four and a half hours into a stream? All right. Um, so that's going to be good. And then we could just change this number. Um, we would have to change this though, too. I just have to figure out what that number needs to be. What do we keep in stock at the other place? Cause we got like 16,000 of stuff and then it's going to cause everything to kick on. This is a this is gonna be a lot a huge integrated dynamics thing. We could link it all to one network, and then we could just base everything on channels. No, these don't have channel priorities, do they? Hmm. Greg Tech or processing setup is easier than this. Greg Tech's not that not that hard. It's not that hard, chat. Okay. That's good to figure that out. I just needed to refresh my brain. It's been... It's been quite a while. I think the last time I fully dove into integrated dynamics in like a really in-depth logistical way, like reading uh, MBT data and stuff, was a long time ago um, when I was playing Uncle Jenny's organic free-range mod pack, I think it was. And that was a long time ago. And I could do this for any of the inventories. It doesn't have to be the initial inventory that I have. You can do an inverse of this by detecting your input storage. And then you could say only export if, and that's how you, this is how you would regulate items. Only send, so you do your true or false. If this inventory is like less than a certain amount like less than 64 and then it wouldn't send items 
over 64. So that's one way to regulate items. Which that could be really useful. Hmm. It's just the fact that we have to have this variable store block. That kind of is screwy. Um... Hmm. I'm going to have to note this down. Not really note it down. I need to maybe leave an example up of this system like working. I think in our case, what we what we need to do is we need to have not the regulation we need to regulate from the source. So we want to keep so much in stock. And then all excess leaves. And then that will end up going to our train. Okay, so I'm going to make a very uh, basic default setup for this. Okay. So we'll have an inventory reader on the source. So it's going to look just like that. We can make it even more compact, but we're going to have these cables running down, I think. Running into a location. I, I don't think there's a way, unless we can combine unless we did like a list and then we looked specifically for a specific item in that list and then the number associated with it, which that seems so crazy um, could probably do that though inventory count Okay, I will be defining the integer as like, let's just say how many we want to keep in stock. Um, let's keep like 1,028 in stock. Okay. And we say, if the contents is greater than the variable that we define, then send items. We'll store our variables. And then we'll put this in here. Export items. With a single inventory. Okay. To test this with some stone, let's get a bunch of stone, put it in that barrel. There's 800, it's not doing anything, but as soon as it goes over the 1,028, now it has sent everything but the 1,028, everything else has gone in here. Okay. Perfect. And if we wanted to slow this down to make it a little more server friendly, we'll do... Uh, ticks per operation, 20 ticks per operation, and then it'll only go every one second. It'll do a stack per second, not a stack per tick. Which it does a stack per tick by default, by the way. Which is insane. You can also choose the side that you want it to interface with. Here we go. Now it should be a lot, a little slower. Still f insanely fast. Oh, I didn't put them all in. See, now it's now it's every second, every twenty ticks. Surprised we still got twenty TPS. Okay. <clears throat> well, I think this is a wrap.
I think it's gonna be a wrap for today. The thing that I'm gonna need to kind of prep for when we come back to this next week is we've got to get our uh, we got to get a train that comes and picks up these items right here. Um, that picks up all of these base mechanisms right here. So we have our precisions that are over here. Those are going to get picked up, right? And we've got to interface with this with integrated dynamics. Uh, but we don't want to pull too many out, right? We got to keep so many in because other things are using these. Um, so that will make sure that everything else gets prioritized over this production. This production is not a priority. So we can say, you know, send so many out. Same for these. We'll say send these out. And then I think the other ones are the radiant ones over here. Do you have like a Spotify playlist for all the music? Uh, this playlist, yes, is called 90s Rock Anthems. If you want to uh, to know, you can just go to the nice Google search or a nice uh, Spotify search. It's got 101 songs, six hours long. A lot of my favorites are in this playlist. Love it. Yeah, so we'll pull out the radiant mechanisms out of here. It should be good. Honestly, frame rate doesn't feel all that bad. I can't believe this is still functioning. Why is this not functioning? Oh, that's right. I have to feed plastic. We also need to send coal here. Otherwise, plastic mechanisms just stop working. Oh, that's interesting. It says, well, if you never want to go under, you can always, or if you never want to go under, you can go inventory at, at times. That's, that seems a lot more complicated though than just doing a, what we just did. You still have to have a variable store, right? Yeah, I don't think there's a way to do this without a variable store. So just if you have 64 as X. Oh, like to split. Oh, but if you have two stacks, it'll only take the one. Okay, yeah, yeah. You're talking about using some arithmetic inside of the, the variables, like to be able to produce your variable card. You can do, you can do anything. Any kind of like numeric system you want. If you want to divide multiple numbers and then check if that number matches a certain variable, then that could, you could do that too. You could say like only export one item if so many, if you, if you've divided a, a number by three, you know, and if you're looking for a very specific incrementing integer i mean that sounds kind of crazy but yeah you could create clocks with items going into a inventory your coder yeah then you would love this mod like there's a crazy amount of things you can do all right chat before we head out do you guys want to do a gamba 
I'm going to do an unfocused Gamba with tech. Tech and unfocused. You guys want to do it? Hopefully we don't get hit by a train. Why don't I see my Gamba button? Where's my man? Where's my prediction button? My button was gone. All right. All right, so we're going to do a prediction left. So you guys will have 30 seconds. And uh, you're going to vote left. Left is unfocused. Right is tech. It's pretty much a 50-50 chance that both of them will win. Uh, or a 50-50 chance that one of them will win. There's the train. Yeah, that's the train. All right, so... Here we go. Predictions are open. So use your channel points if you haven't already. It's pretty fun. After you guys get the votes in, then we'll run the Gamba. We'll run the, uh, I'll push the button. And then we'll find out who's going to win. Unfocused or tech? Left being unfocused. Right being tech. Dang it, train quit hitting me. Darn train. All right. Let's see what those predictions look like. Oof. 45. It's almost dead even. <laughs> Tech's all in. You're going to win it this time, aren't you? You're going to have to win it. All right. Here we go. Let me pull this up real quick, by the way. All right, and we'll do three. Looks like 52% on the left. 48% of you voted for the right. Three, two, one. Let's go. And they're off. Oh, it's dead. It's neck and neck, but Tech just took the lead. Oh, but Unfocused is heavily taking the lead now. Oh, and it was unfocused for the win. Wow. Oh no. It's not rigged, I promise. It's not rigged. Tech, I hope you voted for unfocused. <laughs> oh no. Left takes the 87 channel points distributed. Oh no. 80 something thousand points. Got distributed between nine people. <laughs> Why do I even still vote? I mean, this is like playing the lottery and you put it all in on red or black. And then it rolls green. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Good God. Now you got some points to spend, I see. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Oh, should have bet even more. Hey! Good God. All right. Well, I've got to wrap up for the day. I'm glad we got, like, some logistical stuff sort of put in place and got an idea of how we're going to functionally do this because this has been a huge logistical problem that I've been struggling with, and now that we can use this, I'll just use this. It'll make things a little bit easier. We can even interface with contraptions for this. So that would make it a little bit easier with contraptions too. Instead of using redstone, which is not always reliable. But. <laughs> 35k, those were yours. No, Zach. Oh, God. You'll get more back.
Guarantee it. We'll do more Gambas. Uh, there'll be plenty of other things, too, for channel points. We need to do more Gambas more often in different capacities. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's see if we can find somebody to raid. I hope you had a blast today. I know I did. Uh, I feel like we got quite a few things like done. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly, uh, we should go back and check our tunnel just real quick while I'm looking for somebody and just, just look at this glorious, beautiful thing that is producing Certus Course crystals for us. Ah, oh, just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. It doesn't seem like it's producing as much as I would have hoped though. I, I, I don't know why that is. Um... Right? Th these, by the way, you get three from this and you get three from this. So it doesn't really matter, does it? Yeah, no. Yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Maybe it doesn't work unless I'm here. No, these are... Oh, we didn't chunk load. That's why it wasn't working. Right? We got to have this area chunk loaded. <laughs> that's why it didn't work. But yeah, no, it should it should easily fill that container. We just didn't have it chunk loaded. Oh, this is fantastic though. Like this is doing everything we wanted to do, and this is just using create logistics. Alright, time to pull up Twitch. So this was a big accomplishment. Now we got Certus Quartz automated. Whoa, H bomb is playing more fragged vault hunters. Are you guys down for that? We could raid H bomb. He's playing more fragged vault hunters. Dude, he's going to be when we go back into like the SMP, he's he's going to be so ready because he just has continued to play through this. Oh, he's making me want to play more vault hunters, dude. I want to play more vault hunters. <laughs> he's going to wreck everyone playing fragged like hasn't stopped since the SMP. All right. Give him some love. I appreciate you guys. Apparently, it's uh, his channel's in follower mode. Maybe he'll, he'll change it whenever you guys join. If not, be sure to give him a follow. It's definitely worth following. So I will see you guys in the next stream. Thank you guys for all the support today. Um, I do appreciate it. Tech, thank you for the bits. I appreciate that a lot. Um, unfortunately, you lost all your points, but you'll get them back. You'll get them back. All right, I'll see you guys back tomorrow. We'll be playing FTB Skies Expert tomorrow. Hopefully not losing our mind in that pack, figuring everything out as we go. So, I'll see you over there. Enjoy H-Bomb. He's a, he's a blast. He's a blast. He's a character. I love him. He's, he's, he's a nice guy. All right. I'll see you guys. Bye, Chad.